Show your love. What's up, Apollo? All right, we are live. We are live and in charge, Apollo. Oh, my Lord. That's it. There's the Destiny 2 Legacy Collection. I could buy all of Des. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. I could buy all of Destiny and it's in its packs for thirty bucks. Not bad. Yeah. Oh, plus annual pass. Does that include? I'm not buying this. Does that include every freaking thing? It says offer ends in. An hour? Boo! <laughs> the guy moves. It's like, if you buy all of Destiny over Dragon's Dogma, I am leaving. <laughs> I am leaving. <laughs> I am unsubscribing. I'm not... I'm, <laughs> you want to know the good news? I don't have that kind of money right now, so I'm not doing that. I am not. I am not doing that. Do not. Do not worry. I am not. I'm not gonna go. Hmm. What would? What do I want to destroy my M2 with? Hmm. What should end my M2, guys? What should end my M2? Anyone up for? I was gonna say baseball. I would be murdered, but. I would play something, but I'm fucking tired. Yes, it's okay. I am tired. I am also tired. Uh, I had eggnog. Be be very be very very quiet. This might not end well, but it is what it is. You know what? Let's get the party started with a little. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get the not not yet not not yet not yet. <laughs> Roxy's tired. I'm tired. Raven, they made health divers harder. Don't let it fool you. Well, isn't that the whole point of the game? Is to make it harder. I mean, it's like it's like a girl and the, with your first time. She keeps saying harder, harder. You're like, yeah, hell divers too. Well, DSP wants everything to be easy. Like, you know, someone's like, what is this reference? But you. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> hey. They were ready for this stream. They're like, oh, here we go. We ready. We ready. We're in. We in. We're in like. Yeah, we're in. Also, also later, I, I have decided to buy something that I'm sure you guys are going to be very excited about. Not you, them. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm sure you'd be excited about it, too. What is happening to my weird connections? Why? I, I'm connected, but... I can't see the stream at the moment. I can hear you. This is like, do I have to unplug? For the next yeah, yeah. Do I have to unplug my hubby for a second? Yeah, you know what, hub, the hub will be un unclubbed. Oh, they. Uh, I'll fix it after this match. I'm. I'm. I'm glad they can. Yes. Uh, I'll fix that after this match. I'll. I'll. Round one. OBS had an update, guys, and messed up everything. I'm sorry, guys. OBS had an update and uh, messed up everything. I had to redo all the audio. So I want to apologize. Fight. 
it's okay maybe the corner demons just uh we can pretend that the corner demons uh i have one you know so snow day is on its way and it says friday but you know how amazon is you know how they are seems Yep. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I got it downloaded, but I fell asleep like two hours after I got off. I opted for a disc. I want I wanted to see it. Ah, they he caught me and now he's turning evil. hate that in this game you try to uh That's a win. You know, DSP can't play that game because uh, his wife doesn't like him playing with balls. Like I said, his wife is the uh, is the majority ball owner. He owns his balls. Can you imagine? No, I have died. Like, is that part of it? Ew. Sounds... Always. Possibly, but I haven't got to that part of it. I think he's thinking it's... um. The Nintendo 64 game. There's D Dog. Hello. Hi. You're, you're here now. Hi. Would you like to say anything to now that you're beautifully heard? I can. Zen, Roxy, hello. And I've played Snow Days. And it's great. It's nothing like DSB. You said it was at all. I think he thinks it's the Nintendo 64 version. It's nothing like that. He's an idiot. Nothing like that at all. He is an idiot, yes. Now that you can be heard, I can test because mm. OBS likes to fuck up my settings. Mm -hmm. Let me uh, fix another setting before we... Uh... There we go. I yeah. apologize if I sound a bit muff uh, muffled. I'm sporting a cold. Oh, no, not sporting a cold. Aussie yes. thing, or is that more of a 
it's a fashion thing for fashion week you know he's he's walking down the runway sporting a cold look at that nasal drip all right guys because we can't have a it's night without without daily without the daily garbage <laughs> let the crap fest begin that's right we can't we can't Time for a new one. Oh, go fuck yourself. Well, we, we're going to have to have the daily garbage because... What was it? it tonight is garbage night. I have to put the, the wheelie bins out. Exactly. Wheelie, wheelie wheelie. Bins out. Ours do not wheelie. So actually, mine doesn't wheelie at all. You don't You don't have a wheelie bin? No. Uh, Actually, we do, but I don't have one at the moment. Mm-hmm. We're not allowed to have wheelie because I live in an apartment building. Like, you know, we have a trash thing yeah you've got the the shoot don't you no that would be even better fuck i want to shoot you don't have the shoot damn i only uh, move into a place i have a fucking shoot that sounds amazing yeah what was it in canada my when i stayed at my grandma's place they had the shoot you just walked down and you threw stuff into the shoot and it went down to the the garbage thing down now that's there. a fun thing here and welcome to the daily wrap for what was Tuesday, the 26th of March, 2024. Was it yep. Tuesday? Continue barreling through RPG overload. You know how I can tell? That Jazz can, hands. You know how I can tell I have sound? You see the top chat for anyone that mm-hmm. is, uh, that when it, if top chat's moving in Chrome, it works. Completion week. The pink top bar. Chat. Major do, do, marathon. Do, 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 the pink bar. Yes, the the and well, chat. Well, yeah, I know. Both RPGs so we can focus on Some new pink games. They call new DC. games. Was no exception. Today was definitely a major focus on them and getting through them. We did do. How many weeks are we from him playing something new? And I'm not counting uh, the obvious uh, Dragon's Doggies. Um, oh, After his rock. birthday? Man, I feel like this man's been going in slow motion. Mm-hmm. Like, the slowest of motion. <laughs> no, you know what it is. Groundhog Day! We're just reliving the same day over and over again. It does feel that way. Mm-hmm. Except for it's even worse. They say I love won't pay the rent. You pay a lot when you're DSP gaming, does it? Mm-hmm. But he plays WWE yeah, champions, but the money's always spent. Yeah, he made Sorry. some money tonight. Made. I cry to you, Bent Boxer. Give me <laughs> money. Mm-hmm. Bent. I'm not making money on on like a dragon. JC I, in the house. That's right. I got grandpa looks dis- disappointed. Every day, man. Yeah. Every day Every grandpa's day. D- disappointment. He's a disappointment to life. He's a disappointment to streaming. He's a disappointment. You know, we're not sending him enough money for him to go to the thrift shop. We start off the day with my... He would go to this thrift shop. I, I thought about no, going... No, he is. No, Man. he's going there to get... That's where he buys all his shirts. I thought about going to the thrift shop today, guys. I thought about it. I would like, I'm going to go to the thrift shop. I'm going to thrifty thrift. Mm-hmm. Thought about it, but I have not. No, look. Thrift shops are good for... If you're doing cosplay and you need to get stuff for costumes, that's what the thrift shop's good. But if you're wearing like general stuff, no, because you know it's gonna smell like R. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> I need, I need, I'm, I need, you know, freshen up a little bit of the wardrobe. I know people are like, wow, are you poor? Maybe. But you never yeah, know. He made he, enough money. Um, yeah. Okay. He made a hundred and sixteen. He all up today. He made two hundred and twenty-six dollars. One hundred five in the first, and uh, yeah, one hundred twenty-one in the second. But no super chats. Yep, he made some money. All from a nana anonymous. 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 I'm not a crook. My podcast but wearing prison and on the show has a ginormous segment mm-hmm. major focus on sadly the bug filled crap show. You're a bug. F- oh, you show. mean you, Phil? You're a bug filled crap show. Yesterday's was full of bugs. If you I don't know. Can you stop polishing your controller? 
So I nah, we got to keep polishing it. Opinion about the game. He's going to polish his joystick. But Jesus it's Christ. definitely not Got to polish opinion. the joystick, the man. Sadly, is kind of overhyped. Uh, I even announced, quite frankly, I don't think it would have been my game of the year if I had played the whole game last year. Does he want every game to be hit, bonk, bonk, win, and know. pretty? Is well, that what he wants? Possibly, but we don't care what your game of the year, Phil. It's not like I'm going out there and buying it and going, oh, well, I'm going to go and buy it because DSP said it was going to be game of the year. Doop -de -doop -de -doo. Remember, this man said Boulder's, he, met, he said Boulder's Gate 3 would not win game of the year, and who's going to remember it after Starfield? Mm-hmm. Remember, this is the same idiot. Nobody remembers. Just being honest. Um, if you want my full take on that, check out the podcast. No. Nope. Among other things, interesting things. I will save you oh, all. Hell no. I'm going to save yeah, you. Go ahead. I'm going to save you literally 11 seconds of your life. Uh, I'm going to show you something, guys. Just just here you go. You want to know his podcast was today? Here you go. Here, here you go. Save you some time. Oh, Light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. During the lights. There you go. That's DSP's. No Sparatu. You know, I had, I know this is going to sound weird, but I had to line this up and mm -hmm. cut it out in such a way. So Norse Sparatu and SpongeBob had to show up. Mm hmm. Like, welcome to the wonderful world of clipping. I mean, it wasn't that hard, but it was like, it wasn't just, I had to literally like slice, move, slice, move, done. All right. I'll have to introduce you to a program called, uh, what's it? Animotics. Mm. You remember when I did um, Jerry and he yeah. was talking to his wife in the thing and it's, it sort of pans that way. Yep. And then when he went back to the truck, it panned the other way. Yeah, that program does it for you automatically. Interesting. It takes the whole guesswork out of it. But, oh, yeah, that podcast this morning, that's an hour and uh, 45 minutes of my life. I'll never get back. Never get back. I feel actual demo from it this morning, and we had to do it for bingo. Oh, I feel way dumber from hearing it. Yeah. Save yourself, folks. Don't do it. We'll jump on the grenade. We'll take the fall. Oh, we already did. We already did. Mm -hmm. DSP has already just grenaded us to death. He's like, guys, mm -hmm. guys, guys, you don't understand? Uh, we, we're grenades. We're, we're sex bomb. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. And it's like, oh, it's so dumb. He was so dumb. The whole light, dark, and then boom. Oh, my God. Shut up, Phil. It was so much jazz hands. So many jazz hands. Have to... to talk about. Um, then we started off with Baldur's Gate 3 Endgame. And today, we made major progress. Basically, there were some very important critical choices. It's six minutes. Make. So we started to make them. Okay? Um, we started to make them? Decided, you know? There's so many options in this game. Are you going to go and side with the Emperor? Are you going to side with the Git? Are you going to side uh, with uh, Gortosh? Are you going to side with anybody else? Right? There's, there's Phil, <laughs> knowing you, you probably would side with someone. Who's going to give me the more money? Who's going to give me more of the shit that I want? Yeah, but is he going to name every single character in the game right now? Yes. Is that well, the whole six minutes of him just siding? Ways you can go. Yes. So FYI, I made my decisions, and then we headed into the final push area of the game with all this crazy combat. From what I'm told, there's several combat portions to the end of the game, but they're all very lengthy. And the first one is the most lengthy, and we're doing it right now. Um, it's cool because during this segment, you can actually summon all of the people who you've aided through the game come to your aid during these fights if you summon them. Um, I summoned one group, and I may summon another because th this fight... Pretty lengthy, I feel, but maybe we can just get it done with only the one group. I think wow. we got it in the bag already. Um, and then there's a few He's more literally up, giving me cancer fight. right now. So uh, we made good progress. It was, you know, a solid three plus hours of progress, and people are a saying solid yeah, three plus hours. Tomorrow, I probably will finish with the combat of the game. It's uncertain whether or not I'll actually get to finale story, but there's an. Oh my god! So it sounds to me oh like what Lord. I should do is tomorrow finish up all the gameplay aspect, 
and then Friday's stream, reserve that for the epilogue, and then the Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough will be completed as of Friday. No, it won't. Plan, don't you? It won't. So good stuff. No, there. it's not a plan. On the late it's a very bad tonight, plan. It was like a dragon, infinite well, and we basically did exactly as I had planned. We finished up the story of chapter thirteen. When we hit chapter fourteen, which is the final chapter of the game, there was ginormous story developments, cutscenes, and epic stuff going on. And then you head into the Kasuga uh, ending, the Ichiban Kasuga ending. So it's the the, the Hawaii team, basically. Um, the Hawaii tons combat, team. Tons of plot developments, fun stuff da, da, going da, da, on. Da, da, we got da. near the end of it, and I was told, da, 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 yeah, you're da, basically da. like right there. Another, you know, one to two fights. You've reached the end of the, the Kasuga plot line. So we're almost done with the game, except that's not going to be the end of the game. We still have the Kazuma Kiryu Japan plot line that has to end. So once we finish that, then we go back to the Japanese team. We have to level them up. We have to get them higher level weapons because right now they're going to be... Sounds really boring. We've been using the Hawaii team for like two straight streams. Please so just kill me now in Minecraft. Like Ten levels under leveled. We may have to do some prep to finish the game, which is fine. Uh, and then we're going to wrap it up. Now, here's the thing. You might say, well, how long will that take? Well, I don't know how long it'll take for us to beat the Hawaii plot line tomorrow night. The so Hawaii that, plot line. The Japan team, maybe we could do some of those. Mm. You know, again, buying better weapons, leveling weapons, get better equipment. Maybe do the, the challenge dungeon quick. Try to get through one level of it, and that'll be tomorrow. Oh, night. God, he's going to do more so grind quests. We finish the story Friday night. I hope he or makes $2, but he probably won't. I don't probably know. someone will give him. Absolutely amazing. If I could finish, oh, his birthday, his birthday, his birthday will come. And like hey, Jimmy. Infinite Wealth on Friday. That would be Hello. Superb, right? Like, we would be like, yes, now we can full fledged head into new games. Stop jerking off ghosts. Forward and not have to worry about these lingering playthroughs that I've now been playing. I, are you now afraid of ghosts, G? But we'll see. I don't want to promise you guys that. And then, oh, there's still stuff we need to I don't to think he's to. watched that movie now yet. Another stream or two. And I no, he did. Oh, I see him. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh, you watched it? What happens, but no guarantees yeah. yet, but we're on pace for it. Okay, so speaking of which, out of uh, my I'm movie theater had a, a for something to do uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man Cup. Take on reaction. Yeah. I think you'll you'll be interested to hear it. So tomorrow, sh check out the podcast in the morning. So, Wednesday, if you want to hear that idea. And we also have Slammer Cups, and too. It is more nice. Endgame Baldur's Gate 3 and more Endgame Like a Dragon Infinite Well. So, yes, uh, another uh, crab uh, treasure is uh, has gone gold, guys. We'll be playing that in April. We'll be going to Red Lobster what, or Joe's We're Crab Shack. Red Lobster? Yay! Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna... oh. You got me excited for Red Lobster now. Another, what is it called? Another Crab's Treasure is gold. So another crab, a crab and it's a shell. You will be reunited. Please Crusty show crab? up and engage in support if you can. Is the if you're pizza? Not in these games, the light at the end of the tunnel is current, coming at us fast. This weekend, we will no, it's not Phil. It's not to wrap up, and we're right there. This is why I did this a week and a half ago. I said we have to bunker down. We have to put the foot down. We, we have to bunker down. Games, we have to put our foot down. Ones. Who the hell wants we? to see that? Right? Not me. I'm glad I, I've done this. I think we've done the right thing. People are being very patient, nope. and I appreciate you all being patient. I'm gonna take a picture of the cup for you guys. End, I swear they're coming. Oh, if Yay. you fuck this cup, I will um, pee diddy. That's it. That's really all I got to say for tonight. Tomorrow, my final streaming day of the week. I am off on Thursday, but we make that final push, and we see how far we get. Jesus, end it, Phil. Day. Indeed. Okay, everyone. Thank you all so very much. I hope you enjoy your evening. I hope to see you tomorrow for the continuation of RPG Overload Endgame. I don't want to. Fuck no. off. And speaking of P. Diddy, was it his sex boat that ran in that Baltimore bridge? No, that they were saying be... it was P. Diddy's P. Diddy's sex boat. No, 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 that that whole thing with the boat. I looked it up because you know Titanic's my thing, right? Mm -hmm. So the engine failed. So that's what yeah. happened. The, they were coming yeah, no, out of the, the dock, and the engine. They put up the mayday and all that stuff. So they they did mayday. And they had no control of that boat to go under the bridge because, you know. So. Well, it was heading right for the support beam. It had plenty of area to go, but nope. I'm just, I mean, it's a big boat. I'm not, I'm not here to go like, oh, cool, because it would take too long. Did it? There, there was no, besides the people aboard the boat, there was no major fatalities, right? Uh, There's a lot of people missing, 20 people missing. 
but oh, no one oh. no one on the bridge i i'm hearing i think it was one person yeah. on the bridge but no one really on the bridge i think they evacuated everyone on the bridge i'm not really sure what what the actual story is you know because mm -hmm. people don't really want to give it it's really weird they're like yeah, i no, check this out yeah um because we had something similar in australia back in the 70s in tasmania which was taking it to the mainland mm. and it happened at seven o'clock in the morning during peak hour mm. 150 people lost their lives but also that boat was going to bangladesh mm -hmm. or somewhere it wasn't it was on its way out to wherever it was going. Yeah, yeah. It, it's always cargo ships that always seem to take out bridge. It's like, you remember how Phil loves watching um, trucks mm -hmm. that are bigger than 11.8 uh, I feet? will say this. Okay, so I watched this thing like 50 times. Like, mm -hmm. So the way the bridge, I thought that thing was going to sink. That thing took it like a champ. What, that, the boat? Yeah, the boat. Oh, dude. Have you not seen them on open um, out to sea during like major hurricanes and all the rest of it? those things can ride like nobody's business. They have to because right. the, the seas out there are so rough. <laughs> you know, it's like released a kraken. So when just taking out a bridge, it's like it means nothing to them. They'll yeah. get like a little dent or something like that. That's why the bridge collapsed the way it did. Now the question is how well. Everyone in Congress is quitting, so who knows what's going to happen? Oh yeah, no, it's, not everyone they're, they're in gonna Congress. Be, they're going to be months. They're going to be months without uh, ah. a form of uh, thing. You know, realistically, they could set like the pontoons, like they did during World War Two, when they needed to get the tanks across the rivers and stuff. Like the military can come in and set up a temporary thing, but they won't. They won't. They won't. You know, Lindsey Graham, he's got to sit there and support um, DSP. No, Lindsey Graham has got to, he's, he's going to go on Fox News and go, well, the good people of Baltimore deserve a bridge. Well, like, you got to help them build it. <laughs> no, but, you know, you you got to, you got to help support DSP. I, he's hurting right now. It's a fine. You know, and I, I do declare. <laughs> yes, that is my Lindsey Graham impression right there. It's not very good. It's not as good as my Mitch McConnell, uh, the American no, people. No, Mitch McConnell is <laughs> like a turtle. I say the American people deserve a bridge. Am I going to help? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, but see, you're using like, that's like early 2000 Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Current Mitch McConnell's a little bit slower and sometimes pauses because he, his brain has to reboot. Uh, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> you're gonna make the window sound. I just need the beach ball for the back. Uh, the American people. Uh, American people. I feel America really bad. A little lamb. Its uh, fleece was wider. Uh, but my heart goes out to doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. everyone on the boat. And everyone affected by this, and uh, we'll do whatever we can. And what I mean, you know, what's really hurting right now is Jeff Bezos. Uh, uh, there was so much Amazon on that ship that's not getting delivered. Uh, oh, dude! Yeah, they might have you. They might have your snow days on that um on that it, boat. No, 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 no! It's, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> it wasn't meant oh, for no! here. It was going to Bangladesh. <laughs> yeah, but it was going to swing past my jersey. <laughs> Baltimore to Bangladesh. We don't have a, We no! don't have a port here. We don't have a a, a port of stuff. Oh no! It, Philly oh, does no. though, but whatever. Oh no! <laughs> Just out, see that. Uh, the American. Uh, I do declare that DSP's getting a little bit more money today because it was a six-minute rant. You know what? You want to start a little bit. You want to start a little bit of trouble. I do not agree of people trying to uh, make rich into a female. That's just weird. Rich from USA Today. Yes, from <laughs> Review Tech USA. They've been 
defacing him and making him look like Gloria. It, it, it's like they they just discovered that app and they're just having fun. It's a it's a little creepy, guys. Yeah, but how old is that app? I remember playing with it before my mother went into a nursing home. I'm just saying it's, it's a little old. Yeah. They're just finding it now. Jeez Louise. It's a little it's a little it, it creepy, guys. Seems like it. OG billion. Speaking of um people playing with apps, you should have seen the the um pre stream podcast slideshow with DSP's um oh, I got AI it. I, generated. I can get it. I can get you it. Got it. I can get it. <laughs> uh you guys can see the screen, so there might be Space Cowboys at Astros? What the fuck is a Space Cowboy? You know, Space Man. He's got a rock get on his back. Space Cowboys, space. Houston Astros. Who the hell are those? He's raving like a Rainier Space Man. Who the hell are the Space Cowboys? Oh. That will sound like a deflation. Oh, so, he's distracted. so the Houston Astros have beaten mm-hmm. s- Space Cowboys. I don't even know who the hell they are. Dolly. Yeah, I'm surprised they're still floating. Oh, yeah. All right, let me let me up. Uh, Looking, 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 looking. I don't think I have it. You, you got it on your Discord thingy. Do you want me to post it yeah, to yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah Alright, I'm yeah, posting yeah. it to you. That's cool. You know, I'm surprised they haven't made DSP into a oh, female. Oh, oh, here, yeah, here it is, here it is. You found it? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You, you, you just reminded me. It's uh, that is yep, there. there so, is. Mm-hmm. guys, guys, DSP wants to protect you from his authority. Mm. His authority. He wants to uh, from his authority. Sorry. Uh, so if you guys want to know that he wants to keep the uh, he wants to keep the uh. <laughs> The DSP gaming uh, empire safe from all the goons out there. Hired goons. Here you go, guys. The hired goon of DSP gaming. And yes, I will read to you right now. I will read. Baldur's Gate 3 early stream. Chat moderators on the DSP Gaming YouTube channel streams are tasked with creating a safe environment. Oh, yeah, safe indeed. When he means safe, he means from all of us and DSP. Because no one's safe from him. He wants to lock you in the room. Like, a, you ever lock a cat in a room and is scratching at the door, meowing his head off? Like Jasper? Yes. <laughs> Just meowing his head off. Just, you, you know, it's like... That that's DSP Gaming's uh chat room. Except for if it goes me if you if it meows wrong, you get banned from the room. He just tosses you. So yeah, tasks of creating a safe environment for viewers during streams. Their role involves reviewing and managing comments to ensure that all participants adhere to the rules that no one experiences any form of abuse. Well, that's a load of shit. <laughs> now, these mods are not being paid, so. I love it how you can come out and make these statements and not pay these mods. You know what it should say? It should say all persons adhere to the rules and no one experienced any form of abuse should be abuse from only DSP gaming. We don't want abuse from other from third parties. It has to come first party from DSP Gaming himself. God forbid. Their presence aims to facilitate and secure viewing experience. Please place your trust in the moderators. Well, you don't either, Phil. Why is there guns and detectives and shit? Why does these dudes have police officers? Why is it so 
mili- why is it so I hired these goons? God, that, nothing says I feel safe in this in this stream than this slide right here. Fuck off, Phil. You hired goon. You guys feel safe in DSP's room? Give me a uh, not at all. Not at all. Phil, you're about as welcoming and as as a fucking uh, Venus flytrap. Did you uh, notice how he went off on One Minute Man on Sunday, then One Minute Man did not donate on Monday? Yeah, he might have though, but it's like One Minute Man, he's he's just a drone. They they be- this is what happens when you believe in D when your favorite content creator to the max. Don't ever uh believe in your favorite content creator to the max. So um I'm thinking he is not gonna finish like a dragon until Saturday or Monday. That's what I'm thinking too. He ain't gonna finish Boulder's Gate until Saturday or Monday. That's what I'm thinking too. It, it's getting bad, man. It's he. It's getting really bad out there in the in the gamer minds. He's abusing the shit out of people, telling them what to do, and his game. I mean, I haven't watched DSP play a video game in uh, weeks, fucking weeks. I'm not here to say like, oh my god. Like, I can live without it. I can live without it. For the next battle. Oh, great. I'm going to get owned by a law. Hate these little fuckheads. Well, that's the end of me. He's just going to go. Wah, 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 wah. Round one. Sorry, there you go. I sent the picture of the cup in the uh, general, or whatever chat room we're in. You know what? I noticed something about today's daily wraparound. He didn't talk about support. He didn't talk about support at all. It was in an unrecorded bag. Unrecorded bags are always recorded. Not by him, but by the consortium. Yeah, so it wasn't one of those. He's like, oh, I don't want to keep talking about support, but um, like, oh, but the support seems to be dry, dried up, blah, blah, blah. I just want to just... That's not a perfect, but he's getting blocked anyway because I hate law players. Oh, you're playing Tekken? Yeah, I just hate law players. Like he's just, he's just like, and it's like, well, I can't really do anything. So get fucked. Get ready for the next. I fucking hate, it's just, they should just put a spat. It's law sucks. That's all I could just say. And he, he will never get nerfed and probably get buffed because that's how law works. And then whatever. Also, I got a completely random clip for for later. Get ready for the next battle. 
Like, I thought I hit him. But of course, the game goes like, fuck, you didn't hit him. We can hear you very much. Ah, oh, she him slapped me at the end. Hello. You know, if DSP actually cared about his his uh business or his audience, all this RPG stuff is not good for the long run, but he never cared about the long run. the ban a law player oh i hate them so much mm -hmm. I, it, it's almost at the point where, like i see a law player and i'm like ah oh, fuck Get ready for the he's just a spastic little fucker Ooh. well you're taking and lefties street fighting Everybody's doing some sort of fighting. Well, he's he's playing mercenaries. Oh no! Oh no! No, he's not playing mercenaries anymore. But he did. Yeah, no, he's. I think he's watching somebody else street fighting. Round one. Fight. As you do. Street fighting. As you do. What was it? His camera is in a really bad position. And all I can see is mostly forehead. That's good. Forehead good. All right. Let me just see if somebody's going to be... I just want to know what happens to the storm, man. Mm -hmm. Like, Not yet. The, the fuck was that? There's a beam that turns mutants into humans? Like, fuck. That sounds amazing if it, you know, can you make a... Uh, they should make I don't get it. They make beams to turn mutants into humans. But we can't mm -hmm. make we can't we can't have uh things that make people grow brain cells. It's like what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Someone's like, it's but a cartoon did, dog. Yeah, but no, they covered that in um uh what was it? Uh X-Men 3, um Last stand. It was making humans back, uh, mutants back into humans. I like, wouldn't you want that, except for if you're Wolverine. Hmm? Wouldn't you want that if you're, you know, oh, I don't get to be a mutant anymore. I get to live my life. Yeah, but they have to get the anti-atom 
out of him first or else he would die. That's why he was a weapon X. Because of his regen. And literally that's what's killing him off when he was Logan. His regen wasn't working as much, so the anti him inside it was poisoning him. Hail Wakanda. Get ready for the next Wolverine in Wakanda, you know, <laughs> like, all right. Well, Wolverine wasn't there. That's where um, Striker got the medal from. I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> what I was thinking when you said Wakanda, I kept thinking about Achella. <laughs> SNL, you know, we're like, let them have a good education. You're like, uh, what? <laughs> oh, Black Jeopardy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> because he was, they, they didn't get him. They're like, what? <laughs> yeah, fam. <laughs> oh, I see now. Get ready for the next battle. Definitely OIC. Yes. What was it? We had to have the oh, Lord <laughs> I have a demonic Mr. Clean fighting me now. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. As you do. Mr. Clean gets it done in a, 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 a minute. Ain't that right, Zenkai Boost? Yes. Not not in the call. In the, he's in chat. Did you get imaginary um Gmail? Yeah, I got it. The horrifying version. And the true life story with the guy from who plays Reacher called Ordinary Angels. You know what? If I had, I, maybe I should get me a ball cap and uh, dress up as Mr. Clean. <laughs> I don't see Ordinary Angel. You can see Ordinary Angel? <laughs> yeah, you know, biopics are somewhat good. Except for, what was it, One Love. Oh, God. That's wait, 20 minutes of my life I'll never get wait, back. Deadpool and Wolverine. That's all. Yep, July uh, 22nd. Yep. And that's going to make $14 billion and be the new greatest movie ever, 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 ever. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, my nope. My niece is saying, no, we're definitely going to see it. She goes, are we going to see it more than once? I said, hell yeah. She goes, what about Venom 3? I go, well, we'll see. But we're definitely doing Venom 3. Oh, it's straight. It's the better heartwarming story than the one with Mark um, Wahlberg and the and the dog. Yep, that's also uh, out too. That's also out too. Let's stick together and feel all right. Uh, Three little birdies. Hello, everyone. Hello, my free hey, little birds. That was Lefty Anthony. Yeah, he's all right. He, yeah. He's all knowing, or he's not. He's street fighting. Yeah, no, no, he's he's going back. To, he's playing some sort of tank guy. I think I think he's playing World of Tanks now. World that definitely of that, Kaboom. Yeah. Yeah, because that definitely ain't um, mercenaries. Is Lefty is ever in, good. like, the army or something? He just has a jarhead. <laughs> yeah, you said that before. Oh, 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 oh. He might not be in the army. He has walked with him, with me, with me. Oh, oh. All right, I went and took the wheelie bins out before it got too dark. 
and uh, to take the normal garbage bin and the recycle. R I T I E L E recycle. If you have a man and to reconserve, if you have a UT and then 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 UT, you'll get with what you, know, you can reserve. I thought you was gonna say if you get a UTI, I said, yes, it will definitely burn. Smithers, you don't have any tracking for it, actually. All right, battle rifle. Let's see, what was the other one? Get quick scope. All right, get long shot kills or recommended marksman rifle. Oh, that's not happening on that one. <laughs> get get three operator kills with a recommended sniper. Did you fall asleep in one love or lefties? Anthony. One love. Three little birdies. Oh, he fell asleep with lefty, lefty, lefty the hefty, wimpy, wimpy, wimpy of you. No one falls asleep during okay. the lefty, the hefty stream. How dare you? Well, no, it's fine. Sometimes when the sleep comes, you've got to answer it. Oh, he got 17 likes. He's going to get blown by bubbles. I might need your help on the other one where he says bonk today when he was like, okay, it was like mm, bonk. Who DSP? Yeah, he's that was the other one. And then the one who was like opening flash or something. All the podcast is charades about Baldur's Gate. That's all it is now. Mm -hmm. I want you to. I want you guys to know DSP wasn't like this before. He didn't go into deep. No, no, no. He. He used to not go into detail about the games he used to play. He used to just say, hello, everyone. We'll get started in a little bit. And mm -hmm. Then he realized he could just waste time. I could waste time and get money? Yes, Phil. Lefty the hefty. He's driving a big tank. Driving a big tank. Lefty the hefty. He knows how to stick it. Lefty the hefty. I thought you were going to say he knows how to skank it. Drive okay, tank. So, it. guys, it's a big day tomorrow. It's a big day for everyone. The biggest day for everyone. Would you like to know why? Because I'm watching Godzilla X Kong. You damn Enjoying, right. <laughs> uh, big it, 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 very big things. Mm -hmm. Very big things. Uh, tip your Godzilla. Leave your King Kong at home. Mm-hmm. Oh, I will, sir. Tip and I had your to watch a lot of things to get to it. I had to watch uh, Skull Island, the. Uh, Three of the Kong uh, Godzilla movies, as well as. Um, but you love your you love your big monster movies. Yeah, well, remember I I've went through I sat through all ten episodes of Monarch. You wanted to. You had a great time. I know. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for tomorrow night's movie. I'm all up to speed, sir. So I've done my research. I did my homework. It's time to pay off. That's right, guys. It's time for Nanny. What else I was gonna say? What's up, everyone? Lefty the. Apparently, my girlfriend hates being in my. Because I'm going to cry. Well, we could deport. <laughs> Wait, that's that's me. Well, we could send you to El Paso, Texas. That's I know. Right. Some Latinos hate other Latinos, like. Yeah. Uh, Chileans hate the Dominican Republics and 
They're just and and as far as Spanish people's concerned, Mexicans and everybody else is all beneath them. They're like the watered down countries. You you, you want to know why? Because they're mad at the Dominican Republic because they can play baseball. Mm -hmm. They're like you can play baseball. Ball stick. Yes. And they're jelly of it. And I'm like, I wish I could play baseball. Everyone's born with the way to throw ball. Yeah. And Argentinians reckon that um, Chileans run off with the mayonnaise. So I asked Carlos, so, I go, is this true? And he goes, yes, I do love mayonnaise. So for anyone that doesn't know, tomorrow's a big day. Uh, is the first day of... Baseball! Do -do 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 -do. That's right. So it's all happening. We're coming into Easter. April Fools is happening. You're playing baseball. We're gonna do snow days. I've got four days. Oh, I don't I've even sound day. right. Zilla. It's it's a magical moment. That's right. T today, guys. Oh wait, not today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Baseball's back, bitch. Well, baseball's been back for a little bit, but for real, for real. Yep, nothing else on my calendar. That's all I got. So if you guys are like, man, I miss baseball. It's back tomorrow, bitches. No more spring prating. And you know, yeah, do, you get, do you get to watch it for free on your Xbox? Because I saw it. Is, isn't it an icon there? No. You really wouldn't want to watch all the baseball. I know Apple's got it for Friday night. Friday night's a great night for baseball. You really don't want to watch all that baseball. It's Both really boring. It's really boring. I just really just want to look at the score and stuff and the highlights. Yeah, Anthony, that's right. Um, the rest of the world, except for Australia, well, Sorry, the rest of the world, except for New South Wales, are going on and off daylight saving to match up with the US and Canada. Not sure about Mexico. Kitty, is Mexico changing the um, daylight savings? Or do they do daylight savings? Are they going this weekend? And the White Sox has a new $15 campfire milkshake. That brings all the boys to the yard, damn right. It brings some to the yard. As long as it's not a milkshake duck. It's fucking $15, but I'm like, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? The Phillies game tomorrow. How how much do you think for a ticket for the opening day at the Phil at, at Citizen Bank Park, guys? 65 bucks. Higher. No. 110? Higher. 200? Higher. Oh, no, 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 not higher. It's 164. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you know the only place that has the cheapest sport in the world, that's why their stadiums are always packed, is English soccer. At like a dollar or a pound? Uh, I think it's like 10 to 15 pounds or something. I don't know. Anthony might be able to answer that question better, but... All I know is that their seats are always packed. In Australia, not so much, because they, they jack the price of everything. That's why we stay home and watch it on TV. Oh, that Sonic um, Hedgehog game. Oh, yeah. It looks like a mobile thing, and apparently it looks like a blatant ripoff of um, Fall Guys. Apparently they might be suing them. That's what I was or in my Linus feed. Tech tech news. You know the real news, not the thing that DSB says they read. Hey guys. Hey guys, I saw a thumbnail. DS DSP and I'm gonna make up the stories. DSP does not like here's the thing, you Is can't it... just pick and choose like you can't just pick and choose the news. Mm. Proper journalist, no. DSP, well, he he picks these news like he picks his nose. Like, he goes long and deep, but only on one bit. I mean, here's the thing. If you ask me, he, you should always uh, do a news story every day. And he's like, oh, I don't see any gaming news. Go find one. Go, go. There was gaming news. The 
that you know that Microsoft are looking at making the Xbox like that. handheld yeah, like... console instead of the that's normal happening. One. That 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 Xbox handheld is happening. Yeah, I know. The, they showed the dev kit. Not even the dev kit. Oh, it's already out. But I'm just saying that thing. Yeah, the dev kit's already up. I, I'm I'm telling you, that thing is happening. I don't know when, but Microsoft's making a fucking handheld. Like they look at the Steam and go like, "We're gonna fucking eat you." I don't, like Steam is oh, popular. Yeah, yeah. Steam the Steam Deck is popular, but I'm not. Don't it will still have a market, but you know it's like, you, you, and also at the same time, you don't think Sony's not looking into make gaming back into the handheld business. Well, they already have, but it's linked to the PS5. But they that might thing's keep it that that thing's ugly, and everyone bought it. And I'm like, I don't know yeah. why. Well, not everybody. It's it. It's got more stock sitting there than the. And, um, and I know. So, but what about the Switch too? It's the Nintendo. VR They'll. Ones. It's Nintendo. They'll be fine. Yeah. It's Nintendo products, you know. Well, that's the thing about like this. Not like you're going to get Mario on Switch. That's the thing about the, this this uh, Xbox thing. handheld. It plays Call of Duty and everything on it. But it's like a companion, but it's like the Series P or whatever it's going to be called. Like, they'll, they'll look into it and go like, you know, and it'll be another wheel. You think, like, Microsoft's going to make people uh, make games for that? Or is it just going to be more like the Steam Deck and it's like, it's just going to say Series P compatible? Well, see, that's the other thing. Um, I've got, like, four more videos to watch tonight before I go to bed of the MSI um, Steam Deck clone. The Republic of Gamer Steam Deck clone, Logitech Steam Deck clone. Before we even get to the Microsoft oh. one, there's oh. so many Steam Deck clones out there. It's yeah. Hold that thought about market. that. Yeah. It's I'm all about the Steam Deck, the Steam Deck clones, these handhelds. Like I'm all I'm 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 all for it. I think that's cool. I, you know, I just don't see why I should have a Steam Deck. The, the battery life's not there. I like my Switch. I don't want people to go like, oh my god, I'm such a fan. But like, no, no. If the Xbox Series whatever does what I need it to do, oh, I'm buying one. Actually, I, I, in my head, I'm buying one. Yeah, but Tim Tim Apple wants you just to buy the controllers for your iPhone to make that into a Steam Deck. Now, let me, let me say this. You think they're going to make you run Windows on this? Because Microsoft said... We want we want the Epic Store and Steam on the Xbox. And I'm like, I think that that's a little lofty, but I'm sure that's happening. Well, maybe with the so-called, and I'm doing air quotes, but you can't see it, the Windows 12. Here's a here's my question. If they um, open up, they're not going to open up the Xbox Store. They already had like apps and stuff that you can run on the Xbox. So this is not a new concept. It's just. If they open up the Xbox, not even the platform, but just, you know, just like, okay, Epic, we'll let you run whatever you run. Because I wonder how they're going to control that or not control it. Fuck, who knows? Maybe they're not. Like, is Epic going to have games that are like compatible with Xbox? Or uh, the Xbox store or something, you know? Well, even the Steam Deck, he said, Val, uh, Val, sorry. Gabe said that, that um, if you want to take the Steam off it and put Epic on, you can do so. But I don't know. Is there an... I'll have to check because I don't think there's an Epic... Um, They're not. Not for Linux. Linux, and that's everybody's using Linux to do it. So. Well, you know the the thing that I think Fortnite needs to do, and it's like Epic, stop being bitches. And I know they had an argument with uh, Gabe Newell or something. It's like Epic. Yeah, Overwatch. Overwatch is on Steam. I'm, I know this is a bad argument, but Overwatch mm -hmm. is on Steam. Just bite the bullet and be on Steam. Put Fortnite on Steam. Oh, they're, apparently they're, they're making a Star Wars Overwatch. Oh, not Star Wars, sorry, Marvel. So it's Marvel characters in an Overwatch kind of style play. I'm thinking to myself, yeah, it's going to be like Star Wars. That's why I thought of Star Wars then. Because... 
Uh, I liked it when I had to update my OBS. I had to update the NVIDIA graphics. You know what the first thing it, NVIDIA driver asked me to look out for? What? Star Wars uh, um, Outlaws. I was like, yeah, that game ain't coming. Why, why are you promoting that? Hey, it's med time go. That's cool. I'm in oh. I'm in the middle of doing my challenges and stuff. No worries. Well, hopefully by the time I get back, should be ready. All right, BRB. What's up, everyone? What's up, GG? I'm just trying to finish up the uh, the uh, battle pack real quick. Yeah, Elder Six is already playable. There we go. Fuck! What are you talking about?
Tomorrow is baseball. You can do the Pac Man. Their hostile VTOL didn't do shit. I took out their hostile VTOL immediately. It came on the field and it said, bye, bitch. Well, the question is, is Resident Evil 9 going to be... Hey, it makes money, right? I got a little bit to go. I have, I'm 80% done with the battle pass. Well, aiming and let's see what happens. I own it. Yeah, you play it though.
You know who's not going to be playing it? DSP Gaming. Because it has boobies in it. Unrestricted gameplay. Yeah, like I said, I already have it, so I'm not going to play it. Showtime at the Apollo. There you go. They tag me. They come in. I've respected gameplay indeed, but it sounds. We'll see what they do with it. Oh, that's cool. I'm not. I already finished Dead Island. Nice to see them still, uh, still working on that game and making it all it can be. Nothing wrong with that, you know. I'll be playing uh I'll be playing snow days probably Friday or or Thursday. There it is.
I still can't believe DSP put up a video of. I still can't believe he put up a video of that. I'm still like surprised by it. There is a slideshow that needs, to t needs people to go like, you can feel safe in DSP Gaming's room. It's like, fuck you. I feel safe in DSD. <laughs> feel safe into DSP Gaming's room. Are you fucking kidding me? That's gonna be fun. But I'm not gonna sit here and go like, I played that game on Game Pass, so I'm not buying it. Unless if I owned it, I would totally go like, yeah, sure. I could go for some more Dead Island, but you know what I mean? Man, I shouldn't have ran in there without a clip.
We lost, but we got. I got 70 kills. What's our motto here? We don't just talk about games, we play them. We don't just talk about games, we motherfucking play them. Well, DSP is all about the money. And then, uh, alrighty, everyone, it's time. It's time for a new one. This one's a I'm long from. time coming. Last. As a wise man once said, it's all about the. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. G, are you there? Call me. All right. Yeah, I called you and see if you were there. If you're not, then that's cool. You're not there. Okay. Go, go tickle the pickle or whatever. I'm going to go watch this uh, DSP pre-stream. You guys want to do some uh, do some some research with me? I, I want to know what a DSP pre. This is my this is my own hell that I'm putting myself in. But here you go, an old DSP pre stream, guys. This is an old old one from 2016. It's 24 minutes. Let's see here. All right, hello folks, and welcome. How you doing? <clears throat> Pretty bad. You're an idiot. On the stream. <clears throat> Excuse me. As soon as, of course, as I start talking, a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> oh God. How annoying. This is for right, science, guys. This is for science. All right. So, hello, everyone, and welcome to today's gameplay stream. I'm Dark Side Phil. Today is Sunday, October 23rd, 2016. Uh-huh. Snort. Today, we're continuing the Dark Souls 3 DLC, which I started yesterday. Okay. And I had a lot of fun with it, although I found it kind of weird because I played for three hours, and... uh. 
<clears throat> what the hell? I played for three hours. Okay. No bosses. And no kind of end game, no anything. And it, it left me kind of scratching my head. Um, overall, really, it wasn't that difficult. There were a few cheap uh, cheap deaths where, you know, it's a beginner's trap, a certain enemy. Oh, I didn't know that enemy does this or that. You're a beginner's or, trap. Whatever, right? And, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... It was We're looking to see if he's going to talk about his because schedule. Typically, Dark Souls 3, uh, excuse me, Dark Souls DLCs <laughs> are pretty difficult. They usually introduce multiple new gameplay mechanics. They usually have a, a slew of new bosses. And it just didn't seem like that's what they were going for. Um, with what's going on. And huh. I'm very confused. Um, so, I uploaded all my footage and everything yesterday. And a couple people, including, I do want to give a shout out to Jelsey in the stream chat. Uh, he sent me a message with a bunch of information and about two other people also kind of watched the videos and gave me some tips. And they were like, well, Phil, the reason Jelsey. That this DLC seems different from other Dark Souls DLCs is because it's very cryptic um, in regards to finding everything. Apparently, there are two areas of this DLC that I have not even gotten into yet. Because they are completely hidden. And I'm going to explore those today. So don't, no worries. That's what we're doing today on the DLC. I'm not going to skip those areas and just rush to the end of the DLC at all. I do want to explore all the areas. Hell, I paid the money for the DLC. I want to get everything out of it, right? I want to get everything out of it. So, today I'll be thoroughly exploring the other areas of this DLC. I'll show you how to get to them. Because uh, a few people sent me these tips on how to do it. It's not straightforward by any means whatsoever. You know what? You know what? I know what we're going to do. Guys, can you give me a minute? I'm going to disappear for a second. I'm going to set up. I'm going to. Nice. Thank you kindly. So, yeah. I'm sure he would have been John Belushi. Isn't he dead? All right, one second. Okay. And here we are. Um, and then apparently the final boss of this DLC is incredibly difficult. Everyone is saying one of the most difficult bosses in Dark Souls history. Uh, of course, I hear this every single time. Seriously. Every time there's dar another thing in Dark Souls, I hear, oh, it's the hot toughest thing ever. Oh. Um... <clears throat> Some people are like, oh, it's harder than the Ludwig boss or Ludwig boss from last Homie year's Bloodborne spin. DLC. Which I never beat because I played it on New Game Plus stupidly, which I should not have done. You are pretty and stupid, it Phil. It incredibly just insanely difficult. Um, because I, I basically scaled the difficulty, which I shouldn't have done. There so we I go. I do that with this DLC, which is good. And I am having fun. 
it's my science it's my scientist and here. Today I'm looking forward to all the new stuff. All right. Are my scientists so that here? Is today's gameplay stream. I don't need a, think I need a few scientists. Time at, during the stream yesterday, at first what I thought do you need I was at the very end of the DLC, which I, I, I am. I, I, I don't. Are you a scientist? Sure, like, whatever. Just fight the final boss and say that's it. But I do want to explore the other areas. Okay. Um. So that being said, uh, it's probably going to be an entire. Uh, stream of the continuation of this DLC. I don't need you for anything. I mean, go do what you're doing. Touching your pickle, whatever you're doing. Um, I'm just playing some like a dragon. That's what I'm doing. You beat the game. You're supposed to put that game down and uh, never forget about it because you didn't get monies. See. So there you have it. Um, later tonight, I'm doing the weekend preview. Okay, and if I have time, he's doing the weekend do preview. Multiplayer. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to stream it or not. Oh okay. my god! Uh, I'm totally on the fence about it because I don't even know what time it's going to be. Later tonight, I'm going to have dinner, and I'm going to do the weekend preview. And typically, that leads yo, to he's going to have time. dinner so and jump in for like an hour or so and play some Battlefield multiplayer offline, and then just upload it. Or maybe if I'm feeling up to it, maybe I will stream it. We'll see. I'll give you more information. Yo, DSP is um, to stream stuff. Kind of. Later on. And announce it, kind and... of. Uh, someone just... Uh, wow, Edicus says he's the person who told me about how to use boss souls to make weapons in Dark Souls 2. And then Bar Souls! Rush into the room being followed by enemies. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I yes, remember I that. I remember that, that blunder. That was before I really understood anything about the mechanics of the game, and uh, everything got fucked up. But anyway, um, we'll see what happens today with uh, with Battlefield if I have time. If not, worst case scenario, everyone. Tomorrow I'm playing Battlefield. Tomorrow my main gameplay stream is going to be Battlefield One, and I think tomorrow Battlefield night, One I may do some WWE. So that'll be tomorrow. I'll be a balance of the two. Okay. And then this week, what I'm hoping to do is once I finish the Dark Souls 3 DLC, once I get enough multiplayer gameplay in a battlefield. Wait, wait, wait. He only told you about what's happening tomorrow, not what's happening in 10 days time like a weatherman? What? What the hell is this? Guys, I expected DSP to tell us about, about the next 10 days of gaming. Which I, I need to do. I have barely played any okay and i did finish the campaign last night for those who weren't around last night for my second stream i did finish the campaign of battlefield one so definitely check that out i think you're gonna enjoy it it was a great campaign in my opinion except for the final the final boss fight was a pain in the ass but outside of that you're a pain in the ass so definitely check that out so this week what can you expect you're gonna see more battlefield one multiplayer you're gonna see more WWE starting this Tuesday. You're gonna see Dragon Ball Z. Okay, there it is. Two. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, there it is. And in the reviews department for KO Gaming, I am planning on doing a kind of mini review for the Dark Souls 3 DLC. A that's mini review one. for Dark Souls. I will also be doing a video on Battlefield once I've gotten enough multiplayer in a Battlefield. Okay. So there's a lot that you can expect coming this week. A good game, I'm on a gameplay, balance in with edited videos for KO Gaming. It should be a good mix, all right? Okay. Now there's one thing that I do want to address. Very quickly, and then we're going to get into the gameplay of Dark Souls 3 here. DLC, all right? Wow. Uh, I am worried. I'm going to be honest. He is worried. You know me, I'm honest. I'm one of the most honest people on YouTube. No. I'm kind of a character or personality. Oh, you're I'm definitely sure a, a character. Not sharing. Yeah, like money. All right. This is the busiest time of the year for me, as you know. It's the most releases, wonderful right? time most of the year. Um, the PlayStation VR was huge, covering that last week. You should have bought the Pro on. instead. Uh, he should have bought. Fun. He should have fucking bought the pro. There are more people on stream than usual that are coming out every single day. That's great. According to YouTube, you know, I'm just going off of YouTube's tools that they tell you that are performance tools. You're supposed to see how you're doing based off of what these tools say. <laughs> what does YouTube the tool say? Me, what does the tool well, say? I have less dislikes than you do on my videos. That's flipped. Okay. 
telling me that viewer engagement is up, and what that means is that leaving comments, sharing the video. That's cetera, flipped. That's way up compared to usual. Way up. So that's fine, right? Uh, it's telling me that viewer engagement is up, meaning the average amount of time that a person watches one of my videos before they click away. Not right? anymore. You're that's down. Up. Now this is a key metric for YouTube because YouTube thinks they're a television station, which they're not. They're completely idiotic in the fact that they actually judge the quality of a video based off of viewer engagement. And the better viewer engagement you have, the higher your videos will show up in the YouTube search engine. As stupid as that sounds. Uh, you guys want some metrics on YouTube search and all that stuff? Uh, that is still true. But his engagement's in the toilet. His engagement's always been in the toilet. Is it, but it, like this, that this might be true in 2016, but now he, he's even his engagement's even lower than that. Like I, you know, you always want to think about your engagement, how how many views you get. It, it's a game at the end of the day, you know, getting engagement and views and getting you know shorts out there, getting stuff made, see what what the trends are like it, it's important to try to make content that people want to watch like right now it seems like if you do a dancing video that works out very well it's true so if someone makes a 30 minute video and most people watch the whole 30 minutes that's that good video will have higher priority in youtube search than someone who makes a 10 minute video and most uh, watch it's yes and no it's based off of length of Yes and no. If, if, if they're looking for more comments and thumbs up and all that stuff, they want to see what your engagement is. And he remember, this is the same dipshit that turned off his comments. They're looking for interaction. Right. They're looking for interaction. What's up, scientists? We're, we're, we're doing some science. I wanted to know because it's, it's been bothering me for a minute. I wanted to see how long his pre-stream was, like a short one, like back in the day. Because now they're just Im unbearable. Anthony, you didn't have to be a dancing person to be a billionaire. Last week, uh, Finger got 67 million views was a bowl of strawberries with chocolate over it. Ooh, that sounds delicious. If you put a dancing video on TikTok, well, I'm planning on it. When it gets nice enough, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing the mirror thing. I'm gonna do the whole TikTok stuff. You're gonna see me dancing, and you know, you know that whole thing. You know me. I'm, I'm, yeah. I am Raven T. Dolphin. The D, the T stands for trends, and not for crying, and not the. Just have them. For my In the next 18 minutes, you'll be able to watch previously on X-Men. Do, 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 do. I will know everything. What happened to Storm? We're never probably. She'll probably not show up. She'll probably not show up. She'll probably not show up because she's doesn't even have Stop. a mohawk. But I will miss mm -hmm. her so. And Cyclops now. Yeah, but why did, why did she have to leave the um, lightning strike earrings behind? That was the thing I couldn't work out. I thought they were cool. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe she just really likes them. I mean, they're cool. Why would you take them? Why would you not? Yeah, why wouldn't you take them? Like, it's not like they could reuse them again. You know, it's been in her ears. It's unhygienic. Even I'm though it's an animation. Even though we oh, sorry, watched that and then we watched the uh, the the one with Storm, I'm like, oh, Storm got her powers back, and I'm like, oh, this is the cartoon. Stop being stupid. <laughs> but do you know what happens when you electrify a, a frog? In a Nothing. Storm? Nothing. Apparently, like everything else, <laughs> that, that doesn't make no sense whatsoever. I think it had Holly Berry to be Storm. Like, I know they gave her a shit ton of money, but it's just, it's just crazy. The answer is money, but it's just like, what? Holly Berry is Storm? Mm -hmm. What time is it? 
time rather than percentage of the video. So it makes no fucking sense. All right, but that's, that's YouTube's metric. That's how it works. Not complaining about that. It just it is what it is. Apparently, you are. My overall viewer game is up. Like, uh, people are watching longer than ever. Why? Why do we need to know this? Why do we need to? Why does the audience need to know this? Oh, wasn't that the annual general meeting of Burnell Inter Enterprises, where the shareholders get together? <laughs> do, do, do I? Is there slideshows that we need to know? <laughs> That that with hand grabs, engagement is up. And, and the donuts and the coffee. There ain't no donuts and coffee. What? I was promised donuts, coffee, and a swag bag. Unless the, gonna have a little unless the a unless the donuts are made from the tears of Jade and and I was gonna say Dara, Jesus, that they'll be they'll be filled with something. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, but. <laughs> Ever before. Hey, all right, that's good. Anthony, you want to see Halle Berry naked? Get Monsters yeah. Ball. You got the lower half, and then you get the movie um, uh, Swordfish. You get the top half. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's put, so nuts. Put them together, you get a naked Halle Berry. <laughs> there you go. Hey, you got So, or sorry, I interrupted uh, Phil. Watching the video and saying, "Wow, this is interesting. I want to see it to the end," and they're watching the whole video. So in that regard, no, I'm no. pleased. Everything's pleased. I'm very pleased, right? I'm very pleased, but right? Then, YouTube is very pleased. pleased. My views are down. Mm -hmm. And this month, in particular, October is where the ad revenue on YouTube starts to pick up. Traditionally, it's actually mm -hmm. November and December that have insanely high ad revenues because that's like the media blitz before Christmas. But it's supposed to pick up starting in October. From what I've seen, and I'm gonna be honest with everyone here, I'm making like no additional money whatsoever. Why do we don't uh, need to I'm know this? I'm making about the same amount of money this month as I did the past three. Which, by the way, the past three months were bad. This summer, I told everyone, this summer was bad for me. It's really slowed down. Earlier this year, the spring was huge. I was getting great views on all of my videos, including the gameplay, including the stuff over on KO Gaming, the edited content. And it, it balanced out to be a lot of, of good engagement and viewership. I had a lot of new subscribers. I had a lot of new stuff going. So, you know what the problem was with KO Gaming? You know what the problem... The problem was he didn't... He didn't stick to it for that to grow. He had an audience there, but he just didn't stick to it for it to grow. Mm -hmm. Maybe he needed a naked Halle Berry. I mean, don't we all need a naked Holly Berry to make things grow? Mm -hmm. So yeah, but you don't you don't need to go for deep fakes. Like I said, those two movies you get a full naked Halle Berry. And Mojo, what was the, the great thing I like about Swordfish? You got literally the four Marvel characters in it. Um, what's it called? You had Hugh Jackman. Um, Halle Berry, Don Cheadles, and even um, John Travolta. He was in a, a Marvel movie. He was in. He was the bad guy in um, Punisher. Punisher. Mm -hmm. Thomas Jane is the Punisher in that one. Indeed. Well, I'm just saying, you don't need to know this shit, Phil. We don't need to know this. As an audience, you don't need to know this shit. And he's over here going like. Oh, uh, my views are down. Oh, engagement's up. Yeah, because you beg for those things. I I could beg for engagement and go like, hi, guys, I have three likes. Step it up. Mm -hmm. And it all slowed down over the summer when there was really nothing going on. I was just playing classic games. And classic really games. Time, right? Classic game. Uh, there's not much you can do about that. That's right? all you so have. The, the summer. Classic games. For you guys and gals, right? And I still had fun. You're, you don't have any women. Gals? In the summer, there's never been the only. Just just stare. She means stare. The one year mm -hmm. where my summer didn't slow down was the year when I did the Grand Theft Auto marathon. Remember I played Grand Theft Auto three? Because GTA is popular, GTA dumbass. Those games are just so huge that when I played those. That that summer, I actually had a spike in viewership and a spike in attention. But every other summer since then, it's plummeting. You had a spike in his head? Okay. He's spikely. And I'm working my ass off here. No, you're not. New stuff right now. 
All right. Including, you know, all these new releases. All right. Spent, no lie, over $500 alone on the PlayStation VR with the, the equipment and the games and everything. And I'm setting up the webcam for picture in picture for game, things like the PSVR and now for the Dark Souls 3D. I just love how he just makes it sound like it's rocket science. I like how he makes it out as our problem. It's not my problem. Like Peter Parker said to the wrestler, and how's this my problem? Yeah, I missed the part that's my problem that you spent all this money. Mm. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, didn't you want this shit? I mean, why buy it if you don't want it, right? Mm -hmm. Guys, I have to buy all this shit. Do you not like it? I won't like, do you? I mean, am I am I crazy to saying like, like DSP people all this shit for for what for for enjoying and you're gonna say that you're not going to enjoy it? Are you fucking mad? DLC, you know, Mafia Three was a new game I just bought. Here's uh, a War Four is a new game I just bought. Um, you know, Battlefield One. Why do we need to know uh, this? Buying a lot of stuff, and playing a lot of new stuff, and this is no, this is part for the course. This is what I do around this time of year. Then why do we uh, need to know this? Here, yeah, then why should I care? Um, yeah, it's, it doesn't seem to be paying off. Wow. I don't really know what to do. So? I mean, it's it's doesn't yeah. make any sense when you look at YouTube's statistics, and literally everything YouTube is telling me is that I'm I'm doing a great job. People are enjoying the content. My, my, by the way, I, I, like I mentioned, my stream views have been up recently. People have been more people on the stream than there were pretty much all year. So that's telling me people want to see the streams. People are watching longer. People are liking the videos, sharing the videos. So it's not like I could say to you guys on stream, man, you guys, you're, you're not. These are long gone now. Do you understand how much of a in the toilet he is now? How much we have. We are far removed from this DSP. Far removed. You know, you know when um what was it walmart rang me up and said you know sales have been down and you know they're doing their best and all the rest of it and i was like oh okay how you, firstly how did you get my phone number and secondly why are you telling me this walmart imagine why should i care you, you guys know what an alley rally is right in a restaurant where every day the the manager will come in and go like okay guys we're gonna have a great shift you know it's it's raining outside or whatever it is Valentine's Day is coming up, you know, just a pep talk for the servers and whoever. Yeah, they rally the troops, yeah, to get them all excited, and, yep. Just, just to, you know, go over, it's just basically a big, you know, like, it's a big, like, hey, don't do this, sell this, you know, hey, we have some incidents here, don't do this, do this. Not, not always, but just very genuine, not, they're not calling out anyone, but you know, we had some incidents. Have a buddy walk you to the car so you don't get maced or some shit. That stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This kind of feels like that, except for he's like, guys, business is down. Things are down. I bought all this shit. But, sir, look. Yeah, that, that's fine if, you know, we work there, right? But it's like if you went to McDonald's. To make, place an order, and you know, the manager came out to you, put your hand around you, and said, "So, guys, we're gonna have a good day today. We're gonna, we're gonna sell some burgers. We're gonna make some fries. We're gonna put some smiles on people's faces. All right, let's get it done." And all you, all you said is, "I just came in to place an order. <laughs> I don't need to know this. I'm happy that you are happy." It's but like if, if I really it, don't care. I can I just get my fries and shake to go? It's like welcome to Wendy's. May I take your order? You're like, yes, I would like the baconator. Oh man, you know, we have a, we sold one baconator today. What? One whole baconator. And you know, I need to sell five of these by by Friday. If I don't sell five of these baconators, what am I gonna do with all this bacon? I bought all this bacon. What am I gonna do with it? I gotta throw out this bacon, not pay for this bacon. You know how expensive bacon is in this restaurant? <laughs> and the guy's like, what? 
I didn't want to know about your bacon order. I just want the bacon hater. You know, we really don't care. Oh, and Anthony, so they finally released the stingray that killed um, Steve Irwin. Because they, they always had that footage, but it was never supposed to see the light of day. And it did? So, it got to the light of day? Uh-oh. Well, apparently, yeah, he's saying that it's been released finally. Yeah, I, was, I want to say 2001 who, was when... Who the hell did 2000, that? Or 2002. Hmm? Who did that? Who, who did that? What, they released it? Well, the wifey was supposed to be the only person that had the, the footage. Not even Bindi was allowed to see it. I mean, wouldn't you... You wouldn't want your daughter to see that. <laughs> I mean, but that makes you, sense, you right? She would have destroyed it, yeah. But I thought she destroyed it. Because she had the only copy of it. The Irwin, the Irwin kids are doing fine. They're, they're doing yeah. zoo stuff. Well, the kid is, but you know, like, like they, I know you know, during COVID, the, the the park shut down. But you know, that's the same for everybody, really. The crocodile hunter made, made uh he. <laughs> He made the uh, those tan shorts and uh, and those uh, and those Timberlands uh, mm -hmm. a statement for years to come. Bravo, it's and but, you know, when he died, they because they talked to Jacques Cousteau and he goes, "Look, you know when he's swimming amongst sharks and all the rest of it, he's wearing like cage mesh um, clothing, you know, then the wetsuit, and then he's in an iron cage. He goes, you know, he's not walking, going around in just uh, fit material." And because animals will turn on you at, at the drop of a hat. And that's all Steve Irwin would have had. You know, it's like, so your t-shirt is probably more protection right now than what Steve Irwin was wearing. Right. Uh, if you ask me, I'm a Russell Coit guy. <laughs> I know you know who that is. Oh, uh, yeah. All Aussie adventures. <laughs> Time to hit the road. Get behind. I know you're going to say, how the hell do you know about him? I know things. You know about Russell Coit. But he's all Aussie adventures. It's a it, it, he blew up his car and it was one of the funniest mm. things. It's like I am a I am a certified dynamite person. It went kaboom. You can just see the fucking wheel go, and then the next shot is like back on the road. I'm like, wait a minute. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Back on the road. What I, happened I thought to you were talking about the episode where he was he was telling you how to. You know, if you've got no matches, right, and you, you, you know, and the sticks are dry and you can't rub them together, here's a, here's a, uh, here's a camping tip, uh, <laughs> trick of how to get the, a fire started. You take two, you take a car battery and jumper cables <laughs> and you spike them together and the car blew up. <laughs> yeah, that totally will do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then the minute the car is just fine back on the road, like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. By the time he, he took a bunch of teenagers out in the at the outback, and I'm like, what are you oh, doing? Yes. <laughs> yes, what was it? He was he was trying to scare him straight. <laughs> so I'm already they him blind. They did. I mean, he deserved it. <laughs> We're taking a bunch of random teenagers out in the outback. <laughs> Fuck, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Russell Coit. Apparently, Coit is Dutch for stick it up, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. TSP mm -hmm. wouldn't be caught in the wilderness. He'd probably be in a, like a an RV having steak and eggs or whatever. He no, barely it... goes out to his backyard to put um, that soy to catch um, to have wilderness creatures. <sighs> ESP in the wilderness would be all I could think about is like if I'm in the wilderness and my girl I don't have one but mm -hmm. you know we'd be doing the wilderness go out and go you know, nowhere and just find the biggest rock and just put a blanket mm -hmm. down and go like I want you to just scream as loudly as possible you basically you want to do the bloodhound gangs um bad touch you and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. It'll work now. Yes. Not really helping me out because you are. You are doing everything that I I could ask of you. All right, the likes are here. To be successful. 
and I'm very appreciative of that. Thank you for that. I mean, when I see the thank you for that, and everything, that's awesome. And that means that people are really enjoying my stuff. And you know what? We're focusing in on the right stuff. Games and enjoyment of gaming, not drama and bullshit. <laughs> you know what I noticed about this this 24-minute pre-stream? What's that? <laughs> I haven't beat him down yet. The the rigors of streaming. He, he's mm -hmm. still like, oh, I still in, like you can you can hear upbeat. <laughs> Dark side Phil trying to be upbeat, and now he's just defeated. Of course, <laughs> he's he, he's just a a drag carcass of dragony. And Anthony, of course, we had to know about um Halle Berry being naked. Yes, look, you you come for the entertainment, but you stay for the education. Oh, Anthony put that there. I thought you mean you put. I was like, wait, why? No. Would... Stuff that used to Anthony's just trying to do some conversation. Cool. We here for it. And we well, talked course, about it. We didn't just ignore it like DSP. Yeah. Use and the revenue no banning here. That I'm making, and YouTube's telling me it's down. And I'm like, what? I'm not making any money, guys. And I'm going to be honest with everyone. I'm nervous. And the reason I'm nervous is because we're nearing the end of the year. This is it. The November, December is like the final push for 2016. It's the well, is this the start of the two big bills? The money. And it allows Very me to much. My taxes. Uh, it allows me to uh, prepare. Good time. Because good as time. you know, early next year, there's a ridiculous amount of games coming out that I need a to A ridiculous amount for. of games and are coming out that I, I need to prepare an for. If I don't see an increase. Summer, I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, it's to the point where. Oh, no. Uh, it's, it's he doesn't know what he's going to do. I'm going to have to maybe oh, no. for other solutions. Whether it means that I start hawking merchandise and look for paid, uh, paid <laughs> sponsorship. <laughs> He's gonna. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! He, I'm not burying the lead, not the paid merchandise. But he just say paid sponsorships. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking forward to that special episode of this week on Porn Stars, the DSP edition. Oh, it's definitely gonna happen. DSP's gonna be hawking some. Um, it, it never came to fruition, guys. He never got his uh, endorsements. He never got to sell underwear. I already got my. I already got my. Uh, I already got my endorsement for the. Uh, you know, anytime the, the you know, someone says hi, we would like to sponsor you. And and don't worry, don't worry. Homie's smarter than a and smarter than he looks, so. He's got everything under control. But you know, I can see this being the, you know, <laughs> at um, Rick Harrison's um, pawn shop. So you say this in the Nintendo Wii, yeah. yeah. What's so special about this one? Well, you see this controller? It's got like a green moldy fungus. We never analyzed it. We never imagine, found out what that was. Imagine, imagine every hour I'm going to go, hi, I'm Raven's Dolphin. I've, I know you've been watching for a while, but are you sure you're wearing fresh underwear? <laughs> Is your underwear I'm, riding I'm up your bit, ass? Yeah, but I'm feeling a little bit unfresh, so thank you for asking. I got the solution for you, me undies. And for a promo <laughs> code of DSP's a bitch, you can get 20% <laughs> off your first order. Wow. Has it got a money back act 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 guarantee? Yes, yes, yes. The in the, the, the first thirty days, if you're not satisfied with their fabric and how much, and I am a definitely. I've been using them for years, and tell them that I sent you. It's gonna be great. So you can nice. you can watch the streams in absolute comfort. Mm. Or Tommy John. Any of them will work fine. There you go. Tips or something. Which Mojo, content's gonna have to change. are you talking about the boxes being the Zelda pajamas? You're gonna have me advertising. Yeah, DSP's wearing, wearing, wearing some Zelda jam jams. Which you did. Um, you know, I would say you get a job, but unfortunately, go get a job. <laughs> <laughs> this was great. <laughs> go. Somebody said that to him today for two dollars super chat. Got get banned. A I mean, he, I kept the money. He, 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 listen, I mean this with every fiber of my being, even if he was looking for a job, he ain't, he, he's just not built out for work, man. Getting up in the morning, 
this man crawls out. Do you think, do you, like I said, do you think this man can crawl out of bed, pour some coffee, get on the road, get a bagel from fucking Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme or wherever the fuck have you or, or Starbucks or whatever in this fucking Corolla or wherever the fuck he's going to go and actually do the job? Seriously. I wonder if they're going to dedicate um, the next Planet of the Apes movie to Ron Harper. They could just change it in the credits. It'd be very easy to do. I'm just, I'm just being serious. I know you are. Like, does anyone think that this motherfucker is, is capable of one, getting up, one, showering, two, actually doing the job? Doesn't matter what job. Doesn't matter if it's hostess at the fucking Outback or whatever. Mm -hmm. You think this motherfucker is capable of that shit? Nope. No, not at all. And, and a job, let's ignore the money. Let's ignore the money for a second. You know what a job does for you? You want to know what a job does for you? You get you get to meet people. You get to be friends with people. You get to be not an asshole. You get to be around people that check you. You know. You some sort of stability? Yeah. And he's over there. It's like, it's not, he's over there going like, oh, I won't make enough money to support your house. But it's like, yeah, but guess how much respect you would get if you actually had one. Like, let's say you work for a whole month and then you got fired. Then you know how much respect actual detractors would have? You're like, hey, DSP tried. He had a job and he got mm -hmm. fired. But at least mm -hmm. he tried. He tried, yeah. Hey, he got up, got to the interview, and tried. But he won't even do that. I like Ron Harper in um, Land of the Lost. He played Uncle Jack. The Land of the Lost. Yes. Marsha Will and Holly. Marsha Will and Harley. We're on a magic adventure in the vanest story ever told. He's like, I don't know what to do. And it's like, he thought he, he figured out the magic formula, how, what to do. Mm -hmm. Beg harder mm -hmm. and tell them to go fuck themselves, right? That's the SP gaming for you. I take the time away from YouTube to go get a job outside of YouTube. It means that the whole YouTube thing is going to fall apart. This thing no, it takes doesn't. all of my time to keep going. So if I were to go get Stored. outside of YouTube, the whole YouTube thing would basically go away. Hey, Wolf at Midnight. I have a job. I have job. Wrote my exam today and got 82 out of 100. Needed 60 to pass. Well, nice. that's good. Congrats. Muscle tough. Indeed. I'll also say this. Doing this day in, day out, and the amount of time he does is wasted on other stuff. I, like... What I know and what he doesn't know is crazy. Enemy securing Tom Harney at... Uh, do people want us to watch this new Roadhouse? I'd rather watch the old Roadhouse. No, no, no. We're no. not... Yeah, okay, the answer is no. There, there's your answer. Fuck road, new Roadhouse. Keep the Look, change. Look, I like and Hole and all the rest of it, but no. All you need to know, there's chocolate, and then there's chocolate, and then Wonka makes you skyrocket it. Mm -hmm. And then put your hand in your pocket or whatever. No Roadhouse is the answer. Exactly. Which is what I'm afraid of. This is an eight-year legacy that I built here. I certainly don't want it to fall Eight-year legacy. Right. Sorry, oh. have, Phil. And I don't know. No one gives a fuck about your eight-year legacy. And they've been talking about possibly... Doing a few things financially. First of all, I might even they doing? finance my house. Oh, that didn't ridiculous. happen. I just moved here two years ago. I'm already looking at And good luck, Wolf. I hope you get a better job too. Been going up. 
Wow, he's been looking at refinancing his house two years after he moved out there. He The business was already, well, it wasn't floundering, it was WWE Champions, but it was already floundering. He was already floundering. So how come um, Bernal Industries, CEO, annual general meeting, we need to know about his refinancing? <laughs> no, is, that, is that part of the, was that part of the assessment? Hey, man, it's not about how many hours you get. It's how, you know, it's like, hey, you got your foot in the door, right? Something's happening, right? Eight hours, get it done. Mm -hmm. Get Don't some get experience. Wrong, Anthony, and... I like Gerard Butler. He's a really good actor. I'm just saying, like, for DSP to do, like, he's, I know he was a relic then. He's more of a relic now. DSP is way more of a relic now. Like his, I don't want to sit here and say like, oh, his time is ticking, but his time is ticking. No, his time has stopped ticking, sir. He, his biological clock has gone, right? He's missed right. that window of opportunity. His eggs are now dried up and unfertile. But he's a 42-year remain going on the age of five. You know, if somebody had to do a psych evaluation of him, which especially this morning's um, daily um, the pot level one podcast, they would have him committed in a, in a heartbeat. Right. They would have him committed very much. Yeah. Dementia has set in. He needs to be hospitalized. Yeah, it's so crazy. Especially with the light, mm -hmm. dark, and all the other things up and down mm -hmm. like fucking hell, Phil. And the freaking jazz hands, man. The jazz mm -hmm. hands. Jazz hands. All right, I'm gonna so much jazz hands. That's... Hey, guess what the mega has? Jazz hands? Nope. Yeah. 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 And then it's gonna go cheese. No wolf. Thank you. I've got to animate my new. Jedi, Sith Lord, Tiger. One second. I am setting up something. Sure. I'll do this later. I, I, everything, everything needs a new scene now, and I haven't implemented every scene. In, I have so many profiles. Mm-hmm. And you have to, to you got to keep it fresh. You know, it's not like you can get some artwork, pixel graphics, and just change the pictures leaning against the PlayStation 5 box. Uh, I can do that. And saying, hey, guys, 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 look, look what I've done, guys. Look I'm sure, man. I'm sure I could work something out. I'm sure I could work out mm -hmm. a, a PS5 box and all the rest of the stuff, like... I don't want to sound like Rich from Review Tech USA when he says, I'm working on something. And it's like, Rich, I don't give a fuck. When he says he works on something, he does it for three months. Yeah, but when he says he's passionate about it, it's like, fuck off. Like, like you're, you're sounding like Boogie2988. Get fucked. Like, I'm so sick of that shit. Like, people are like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And it's like, are you? Are you really... I'm just yes. Next on Fox. Next on Fox. Previously on the X Men.
Guys, I'm Logan. And when I'm not, if I'm not here being an X-Men, I'm watching Fox Kids. Do 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 this Saturday. This summer. No, you, you have to give no time ever. Mm -hmm. One day I'm gonna uh, soon I'm gonna show you what we saw in a, in here in America and it's bullshit. Like Ooh. Nickelodeon told you exactly what time Rugrats was coming on. Mm -hmm. Fox said, "Fuck you! You don't get to know. You get to uh, this Saturday. You better watch all day, bitches." <laughs> like, do they not think kids know time back then? Do you think they were that dumb? Well, kids don't know what the fucking time is, so we're not gonna tell them. Pretty much. Oh, it's video capture two. Video capture time. It is video capture two. Change one, change two. Change one, change two. That's right. Previously on X Men. You look so tired, Lefty. Well, when you're when you're uh, tank destroyer, you get tired. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what else? What else are you gonna do when you're out there blowing up blowing up tanks? World of tanks, mind you. Remember the world. The world is all about place. the world is all about tanks. Mm -hmm. And it's a strange place. I mean, good good for Lefty for uh, for uh, you know coming in here and and doing stuff for the the community at this time slot. Well, we do more than we do more for this time slide than DSP does on a fucking day. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm I'm good now. I was gonna say you sounded very much like um, I Hank Hill. I tell you what. <laughs> Sorry, I was setting up something. Thank you for all your patience and talking. See, this is what you do. You talk, and you keep it going instead of go like. I have a um, double vision thing for just recording. You're keeping it real. Me out. Keep it real. His debts. And my monthly payments will go down, and therefore maybe I'll have a little bit of financial release, a little bit of less of a burden. Oh my God! A financial release is that the same as a hand job? Sorry, I had to go there, but I don't ever want to hear release. That sounds like I need a financial release. Okay, take your take your pants down. Wolf, Friend. that sounded like um, Matt St uh, Trey Parker out of um, basketball. Hey, you know what, what someone? Day? You know what I'm someone? Be a sports star. I'm gonna give you mm -hmm. some advice. Why not today? I know some people are like I'll start one one day. How about today? Today. <laughs> people always go like, "Oh, I, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. Hey, what's stopping you? Let, let's go." I know funds. Product work, internet. Mm -hmm. Where shall I begin? Indeed. You know, but at this point, I just don't know. You just I don't, don't know, know what I'm going to do. Um, no. if, if, if I don't see an increase. Now, all of a sudden, there could be an increase mm -hmm. at any time. You know what I mean? I'm playing mm -hmm. all this new stuff. Next month, in particular, there's a lot more new stuff coming out. That I'm excited for. December in particular is usually a great month for me because not only are there new games, but I do my year end stuff and my year end stuff. I do my year end stuff, do my year end stuff, so my year end stuff. There's still potential that things will turn around, but right now I'm nervous, <laughs> you know? Are you more nervous You're now? Nervous, Phil, are you more nervous now? I know back then you were nervous, but are you more nervous now than you are ever? 
Like, are you more nervous that we're kicking your ass so hard? I'm nervous. DSP says I'm nervous in 2016. This is where the guilt trip is. He literally does it. He goes like, guys, I'm nervous. Give me money. This. We got to have money. All right, back to the video. I'm very nervous. I'm nervous too. And I don't know what to do. Um, I know what to do. This is, I, I can't understand usually. If there's like a decline, I can ask my viewing audience and they'll tell me, they'll say, well, listen. If there's a decline, I'll ask my viewing audience. Guys. And they will tell you. Guys, there's a decline in the channel. What's wrong? No, seriously, what's wrong? No, I'm being I'm being real serial right now. What's wrong? Gotta ask my viewing audience because you know, there's there's that. Uh, it used to be up here and now it's in the toilet. What happened? What happened? Something went wrong. Uh, I'm getting feedback and uh, no one's saying anything. So we're doing great. Everything See? is our own. Everything is great. All right, cool. No one has complaints. This is we're 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 doing great. Uh, great conversation, everyone. Mm -hmm. Listen, Phil. It's because there's this drama going on over here, and this is making you look bad. And you you made yourself look bad here, and you turned off a lot of viewers. And your content recently has been boring. And that, oh wow. And that's not the feedback I'm getting. Even 2016. Polar right. Now he's you know, engrossed in the games. That engrossed the stuff I'm putting out YouTube's telling me the same with its statistics right YouTube's telling me statistics it's statistics you know but I don't know I don't know I don't know what to do. I don't know and it does I don't know, know. Up, you know yeah. and I you know I say this every once in a while and I'll say it again you know Patreon is really the reason why I'm still able Patreon? to do a job. If I didn't Patreon. Have Patreon. Not Patreon, but Patreon. Real talk. I would not be able to do this as a job. Because that's not true. It's what? $1,000 a month or something like that? It's nothing to put your head at and say, oh, that's nothing. No, it's a lot of money. But without that income, I would not even be able to make ends meet. So thank God I started Patreon when I did last year. He moves into a, gated, he moves into a gated community, buys video games. Fire and all this stuff and yeah i guess his patreon could have been higher could have been making mm. three grand if he wasn't such a dipshit but he would have to actually work on it of the course not is, he was just he wasn't doing anything on the patreon he just I, wanted money i feel like i do more work on this channel than he does he does ever mm. like even that norseratu thing was like 15 minutes of of doing something but it's like at least i did something like, like he's sitting there going like oh my views are down this is down and uh my viewership says that i'm doing great and uh why am i not why am i not seeing the uh the effects of it it's like you're an idiot like do you really need your audience to tell you like yeah sure that's great and all you know But he's an idiot, so there you go. You are up Shit's Creek. It does need to be said that there's thousands of people who watch my content. You know, there's over 400 of you. Ooh, shit. Ooh, ooh, speaking of thousands of people that watch my content, well, not DSP. Mm -hmm. Do you like to know an interesting uh, tidbit? Sure. So many people have tuned into the stream last, this is last week, not for the month. Mm -hmm. Unique. This is this is unique viewers. Uh, four thousand people. That's a that's not that's not a small number. That's a lot of people. Nothing to be sneezed at. Yeah, that that's not bad. Not bad at all. Congrats, sir. Yeah, thank you everyone for you know tuning in last week and 
you know, a lot of it's probably the short stuff and all that stuff. Like, you know, we're, we're trying. We're, we're getting things done. Mm -hmm. uh, trying out new things, doing new things. On stream right now. There's thousands of people daily who watch my stuff. And if they actually want to see it continue, to give a dollar to my Patreon a month, I'm pretty sure most A dollar to my Patreon a month? I'm tired of kind of harping here on this stream about it. And then people get angry. Oh, Phil's advertising and he just... You are advertising. It's like, no, it's eight years of work that I put into this that I don't want to see die overnight because I don't know what the fuck's going on with YouTube. You know? Everyone says I'm doing the right thing. We're loving your content. Please continue... To put out this kind of content. Thank what you, a Phil. guilt trip this is. This new game, that new game, mm -hmm. And I do it, and YouTube says I'm failing. It says user down I will say this. If I dropped off the face of the earth tomorrow, everything's going to be fine. <laughs> will I be missed? Mm -hmm. Yes. But everything will be fine. The world will, will turn. You, will you be forgotten? No. No. I will not be forgotten, and that's good. Being hey, forgotten like sucks. Mind. Yeah, being forgotten sucks, but I'm just saying it's like, he's like sitting here like, oh, you know, I'm doing really good and all that stuff. It's just like the world will turn without you, Phil. <laughs> like, they don't need you to play these whatever the fuck you're playing. Like, this, like these are just streams and he's an idiot. But he will also won't be forgotten, sir. Oh no, he, he always remembered as hmm? Oh no, he will not be forgotten at all. No, no, he'll be remembered as the guy. Hey, wasn't it the guy that jacked off and, uh, and forgot that the camera was on? Yeah, he's that guy. He's going to be the jag on guy forever. He's going to be the guy who jacked off on the internet. He's the guy that uh, that scammed his audience. He's going to be that guy. Thank you, DSP. Yeah, he's going to. The world will keep turning and we will all be gone and aliens will take over the planet. Well, that's not it either. Everyone should always have always should have their mark. Pretty much. No one wants to be forgotten like, and, and no one will. Mm -hmm. But he's going to sit here and go like, oh, my legacy is like no one likes you. Maybe they liked you back then because you did things or tried to do things, but life has beaten you down that you don't even have the drive to get back up. Like, that's the thing. Mm. I'm making less money. How does it make sense? It doesn't make fucking sense, right? Aren't you making a $1,000? And so people are saying, you know, this year I should have freaking done drama video and I should have just yeah. done, you know, all kinds of other stuff outside of what I normally do. And I disagree. I think what I did this year was work, honestly. I think and keep doing, doing that then. And the raw gameplay, but also the edited stuff was the way to go. You know, yes, KO Gaming right now is having a slow time because I was away from it for a month. But I really do feel that within the next three months, it's going to pick up. By the end of the year, you probably need to put some views on it again. Okay. So, I'm glad you're here. You enjoy editing and doing stuff and making videos and all that stuff. You, you enjoy the grind of that to make things. He doesn't. I don't feel it's a grind. What was it? That, that, okay, great point. Yeah, you don't feel it as a grind, but he doesn't. No. He's not a... He, he doesn't enjoy... Like, you hear him talk about KO gaming. Like, it's some kind of, like... Like, uh... Like a school project. Mm -hmm. Like, ah, shit. I have to do this school project on... On fucking plants, guys. I... I do it like... Like how George Lucas made Star Wars. He did it for himself. And he decided to show it to the world. And the world decided, yeah, I like this too. Very much. Not even kind of, yeah. like a lot, a lot. Yeah. You know, I do this stuff because it makes me happy. And if it puts a smile on other people's faces, job well done. 
if it doesn't, well, you know, as long as I like it, it's okay. That's okay too. It's not what I'm getting paid for. I do it as a hobby. It's, it's like somebody said, oh, you know, you could do it professionally. I probably could. But I don't need the stress of the like, deadlines and, you know, the criticisms and what have you. Like, I get criticisms now, but it's like, oh, well, okay. On a, on a small note, feedback. on a small note, I like the, 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 the clip when he's saying light, dark, light, dark, and the light thing and i had to size it up and clip it very simple mm -hmm. but like i like how it came out i'm like oh this is this is good mm -hmm. like i'm really you know like i'm, I'm you like should the, be proud of that sir yeah, yeah yeah i'm you know sizing things up and getting things like he doesn't it, it, he's like oh ko gaming's not doing very well oh my views are down and all that stuff like that crowd wanted edited content from you like they really did want that like they they and you dropped it because you didn't like the results of it you might have got 10,000 views and went like well that's not good enough well you know you should have either try harder or say no I can't do it there are other people he could, you know, and, professionals. And, and also, this is not a, this is not an indictment. You could have just hired someone. I, I, a lot of times, I, I, I set it up. Actually, I do this all the time. Some people sometimes I have an idea, or I would go like, okay, I'm gonna record the audio track. I'm gonna give you the, the video bits. I'm gonna give you all that stuff. Put it together, please. Mm-hmm. Like uh, the editor, it, it's better. It's better that way because I I can go like, okay, I got I got your work cut out for you. All you need to do is cut it, and actually yeah. put it together. Because there's nothing worse than giving something to an editor, and he has to go find shit or add, you know, or add shit or you know, or it's he doesn't have needs to be done. So you know, like I want I want them to have you know. B roll or C roll, you know, stuff that they might need. They might not be in the final cut, but stuff they might need. Mm -hmm. They might go like, "Well, this didn't work. I need, I need this cut." Okay, this didn't work. I need this cut. I'm not the world's best editor. Actually, I'm probably, I'm, I'm I would say I'm below average, but I, I at least I know how the the pasta's made. So, I don't know what's going on. It really is confusing me. I'm scratching my head. And, you know, maybe I'm just paranoid, but I, when I look at you my are paranoid. earnings for the month every day, and I see that it's barely going up, and I'm like, but I put out tons of new videos of new games. You know, what's going on? I don't know what to do. It's not about putting out new videos. You have to put out videos that people want to watch. Exactly. I could put out many videos thing it doesn't mean it's entertaining i just you know I, it's what we call the shit the shit fan you know whatever hits the fan works or even you know shit hitting the wall whatever drops off oh well that was crap but whatever stuck to the wall oh that's entertainment right and he's over here going like oh entertainment guys and it's like are you sure about that quantity doesn't beat quality indeed who would send amaref mysterious box and stun when she finds uh, 500 oh yeah because people want to fuck amaref hard mm -hmm. but, you know the streaming game is very good to females and yep. also, it's been very good to one DSP gaming as well. Let's not pretend that it hasn't been. Let's not pretend that DSP, this whole thing has been uh, been good to him, you know? And like a lot of us, we have to cross our T's, dot our I's, make sure our vid IQ is good, make sure this is good, you know? 
we all have to uh, make sure that we're reaching the right eyeballs. You don't think about that. All right, I just don't get it. So it's this simple, everyone. I need yeah, that, that, that's the problem right there. It's not, I don't know. You just put it out there and find out. What was the old saying? You don't know until you try. That's right. I didn't know how to. I didn't know how I wanted to make a podcast when I started. It was seven. It, my first podcast was fifteen minutes long, mm -hmm. and then a bunch of bunch of people said it needed to be longer, and then we went long. We we went long. We went live, and it went from an hour. And then people wanted three hours, and then it was five, and then it was eight, and then it was 17. Mm -hmm. Like, you go what the audience wants. You Pretty might, that, that's the thing, like, DSP doesn't understand is, I don't have to like what the, I don't have to like every decision, but if the audience wants it, what am I going to say, no? I mean, I could, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go like, okay, the audience wants this. I'm going to implement it. You know, the audience says do times, this. Yeah, yeah, there's certain times where the customer is right. And with this is one of those cases. There's been, I, I said this before, there has been a lot of times where I've heartedly disagreed with some of the decisions that... I implemented not because I wanted it is because the audience wanted, it. and it was mm -hmm. for the best of the channel to just go like, okay, okay, I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to do this because it is what is best for business. You know, I don't want to sound like Triple H, but you do that, and he's like, oh, you know, it's like you you do what's best for for your business. You don't, it, but for him, it's like, nah, I'm not going to do that because it's not best for my business. He's not that talented to convince no. people to take that, you know. This is this is what I'm offering. This is all I'm offering. Take it regardless. Not take it or leave it. Just, you need to take this. And... What was it? I'm sorry, we're not buying what you're selling. We're not interested. Indeed. And he's like, no, you have to. I don't have to do anything, like... Mm -hmm. like, I don't enjoy DSP gaming. I, you know, it's... It's the fat check aspect. He's an idiot. Mm -hmm. I like gaming. I like gaming. And this dude's making so much money on the hobby I love. And you guys love this. And, you know, enthusiasts. We want to see mm -hmm. gaming grow. And and we're, we're past the point where he used to get thrown stupid amounts of money for being stupid. It's just a bunch of den heads that just throw him money. Like, we got to keep mm -hmm. forgetting that. That the... The, the way DSP used to make his money and who, where he is now are totally different things. We're not there anymore. Yep. Like you can sit here and coast on whatever left is, you know, whatever anonymous money and the daily rap, but the world is evolving. The world is moving. I'm not saying away from DSP, but there is definitely... There is definitely a, a new way of thinking in the world, and he ain't a part of it. He ain't yeah. invited to it. And that's the difference. If it was just me doing the standard advertising on pre-stream, this is not that. This is me actually seriously worried that... Yeah, me too. ...up by the end of the year that I might not be able to do this anymore, and that would suck. I... Five years later. <laughs> Or whatever, how many years later? Like eight or whatever. But you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. 
a long time later. Really would have a hard time walking away from you two. I would because I love doing it. And you guys love watching it. No. Not like, oh, well, no one cares about Phil and no one wants to watch him do it. I think that if I were to walk away from you two, that it would actually be a, a big detriment. It would be a big hole there for a lot of people. No, no. It would do us Not all. Really. Actually, you would do us all a favor if you did. You would actually do us a huge favor if you did. Maybe not there, but imagine. But you know, it's one of those things. Is like if he did walk away, I wouldn't met you and you wonderful people. But that's not the point. But if he walked away, I'm not saying the the, the streaming world would be better. I don't know. Probably not. It would be better. But it doesn't fucking matter. But it's like he's trying to guilt trip these people. Like you need me, right? You need me for all this content, right? You need me for all this all this gameplay. No, we don't need you for any of this shit. I'm sorry, Phil, but you're not Eminem. You're not Slim Shady. The world won't be empty without Reed. You're not Michael Jackson where he sings good good music. You're a jackass. You're a guy that plays games poorly. And back then, no one wanted to tell you that because there's only two people that that were that were on your beat, Tevin and uh, Tevin and LSB, and they didn't even want to do it. And now you have a legion of people that hate you with a legion of videos coming out daily in a legion of of streams telling you to go fuck yourself every fucking day every day on the day you know we have things on bingo today we had brand dude meerkat king jad and some jackass literally trying to there were five streams dedicated to your ass in 2016 there was no one restreaming you unless it was Dark Day Mirror. There was nine streams of 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 streaming of you. I think we'll survive without you, but you're you're you know you're you're doom and gloom. But it worked, right? People went like, we need our DSP gaming. We don't enjoy I watching your stuff. A lot different from other people's, right? And you could do, um, do when I shorts, Wolf. That works for me. I did one video. I got 4,000 views in 24 hours. YouTube's telling me everything I'm doing is good. I can't remember what it was about. I'm lost. I'm absolutely lost. How are you now, Phil? He's lost. So, mm -hmm. Let's try to steal it. I wish that things would be out of the deal. Around. I don't know if they will. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's the deal. If you like my stuff, and I'm being real honest here, if you like my stuff and you're here to watch this Twitter occasionally, because I'm doing something you like, or if it's all the time, guilt honestly, trip, you know, guilt gonna, trip, a, a kind of a, 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 a medium, please consider using Patreon because I can't tell you to watch more videos. He, he's. He's really, he's really just selling the uh, whole thing. He's like, give me money, but it's like a mm -hmm. subtle beg. But he wants, he wants his Patreon to grow. But it won't. Indeed. You know what DSP used to do? He used to go email people. So this, I didn't know you could do this in Patreon, but you know, it tells you when the card declined mm -hmm. and you could go in there and, and tell him, Hey, Hey, he would email people like, Hey, I didn't get your money. Uh, update your payment history. Mm -hmm. And they would, they would update their payment history or whatever there is and pay this sack of shit. He would actually do that. That's how much of a pocket watch that he was. People forget about mm -hmm. that, but he used to do that. DSP used to pocket watch people and go like, hey, you haven't given me my, uh, you haven't, the Patreon. You said you're going to give me $15. Where is it? Your card declined. And to like the videos, because YouTube's telling me you are. Everything YouTube's YouTube telling, telling you you are. So I can't get angry and I can't get upset and say, "Wow, you know, it's not my fault. It's not the viewers' fault. I don't know what it is." But for this to continue, obviously, there has to be uh, something else 
That's gonna have to happen. And I don't want it to become uh, a situation where I have to shield you constantly. Now, I'll be honest with everyone. Now, this is the God's honest. I haven't talked about this at all. Here we go. In the past month, I've been contacted by 12 different game studios. Most of them are indie game studios. Okay? And they want me to play their games and promote their games on my channel, and they want to pay me to do it. They've actually should have took it, Phil, but here's the thing, right? You know why you didn't take it? Because he wanted your money, his money. Mm -hmm. He wanted you motherfuckers to pay up. And also, you didn't believe in those. Control. Also, for those indie devs that reach out to, to DSP, shame on you. Shame. I know you don't know. I know you don't know about this dude, but you know now. If you didn't know, now you know. It's one of those, you know that, you, you know that lyric. If you don't know, now you know. Mm -hmm. That's DSP. If you don't know, now you know. But they were going to pay this man. They were going to pay him. And all he had to do was do some smas. And he's like, I could get more money doing. Like, they're going to pay you. But you didn't want to do the work. That's the difference. You didn't want to do the work, bitch sent me solicitation saying we need exposure we will pay you to do a let's play or even just a certain amount of gameplay of our games now i haven't gone any further into it to find out if they want me to kiss the game's asses or not all right imagine starting off a an email saying do you want me to kiss your game's ass <laughs> imagine imagine hey we would like to give you an opportunity to uh Play our game, you know, see how you like it and all that stuff. Do I have to kiss his ass? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's some ass kissing. Yes. You gotta pucker up. Am I crazy? No, no. You just say thank you for the opportunity. Literally. You just go like, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I appreciate it and can't wait to play your game. No, you gotta kiss his ass. Imagine. Kiss. Imagine. I, I got, uh, what was it? Windjammers? An opportunity to play that early? Imagine if I had to say to the Windjammer people and go, do I have to kiss his ass? No, I don't have to kiss the game's ass. He makes it sound like, um,. It's um, Team America will police. Gary, remember when you first met me? You said you would suck my dick. Well. Oh, well, you went there. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> well, I am. Uh, I need you to do that. Now, sorry. I think my favorite yes. one was. I True my, allegiance, Gary. I think my favorite one was when he was like, <laughs> when he first met me, he's like, and now you're a team. Now, suck my dick. I was like, what? I'm kidding. Yeah. Come on, Gary. You said you would show your allegiance. Now show it. And he does. And then there you go, puppet. Yeah, sex. he does. They go. Why should we trust him? Just know that he went above and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I don't see DSP being a Gary. No, oh, he? he's a Gary. All right, he's a Gary he's in his own mind. Oh, in his okay. own mind. Mm, definitely in his lunchtime. Definitely in the lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh no. It's off to the wheels we go. Off to the. But that's not the kind of stuff I want to do. I don't want to have it become that my channel becomes basically paid advertisement for me. That's not what I want. Well, guess what, Phil? Well, what They're do not. You want, Phil? Well, guess what, Phil? They're not coming anymore, and everyone hates you. What game developer or game? It, I'm sure he still gets opportunities, but what what indie game studio worth their 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 salt is going to give DSP an opportunity? You you can't even have a chair co a, a chair uh, sponsorship without the chair company in the next hour saying we don't want to deal with you. Mm. Like who? Who in the fucking right mind is going to write it off for DSP Gaming? I have no idea. Shadow Legends, WWE Champions, you know. 
imagine DSP trying to do a Shadow Legend deal and him going like, oh, you know, Shadow Heart and all that other stuff. Yeah, it's not happening. Mm -hmm. And promo codes and telling you hints of the game. Hi everyone, DSP Gaming here. Let me tell you a little tip about about uh, Raid Shadow Legends. But also, it builds up your clientele of you know how good you are. But mm -hmm. uh, whatever, Phil. Fuck you. And I know that's not what you want, right? So, please consider, if you have it, pledging to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash dark side tip. All right. And just to give you some perspective here, it's been three weeks that I've been plugging this and saying it's the Indies Marathon that's going to be back in November. We're still $150 short. Why didn't you just take the money for the Indies Marathon? How stupid are you? Apparently very. No, 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 no. How stupid are you? You turned down these indie devs that are going to fucking pay you. That. Are you fucking mad? How stupid are you? I'm so glad you're failing. Fuck you. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're this retarded. I've got thousands of people watching me today. You would think that I should make that up on a daily basis. Most people who stream on Twitch for a living make hundreds of dollars a day on subs. Bill, there's all he people on Twitch that make a living. Like, how much money does he think these fuckers make? How much does he think these fuckers make a day? Apparently, Phil thinks it's hot very much. You know the number of people that made money on streaming is very, 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 very low. Exactly. Very, very low. Like, very low. Yeah. But, you know, that's DSP for you. You know, he has no idea. At all. I mean, if you're, lucky, to to the if you're lucky to make any bit of money from this, you are yeah. in the, you're in the rare echelon. Of course. Like, just the rarest of echelon, because not a lot of us are making money on this shit. Mm -hmm. Right? But look at their stream. They're sitting there constantly asking for subs, and it's a big thing. I don't do But that. they're not! That's why, maybe that's a major reason. Maybe because I didn't go commercial. That's a major reason why. You didn't go commercial, I feel. Right no, I you went, you went okay. beg hard. But please consider. If you, even if you, it's only a dollar. Please consider. Only a dollar. All right. Please consider. Because I don't know what else to do at this point. I've made massive changes to the content style that I, I produce in a lot of ways. I'm doing directly what I'm told. My viewership's telling me directly I'm what I'm told. He, he's he's doing directly what he's told. You know what I mean? Snort. No, we don't know what you mean. So please consider. All right. Please consider. Please I'm consider. More about this, obviously, because people don't think it's a serious thing. You know. We don't care. And again, I don't want to go away. I don't want to have it so that. All of a sudden in December, I realized, oh shit, I don't even have enough money to pay yeah. my taxes. Um, and doesn't have enough money to pay his taxes? And I have to uh -huh. my parents maybe about borrowing money and I have to refinance my mortgage. Oh my god, he's gonna like, borrow well, money. <laughs> he's gonna borrow money from his parents. Job, like, at the, in the job market, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Especially being mm -hmm. on the job market since 2010. Phil, don't, don't tempt us I'm with a, sure with a good time. Years job market. market, I'm not gonna have much success. I'm gonna end up having to go back uh -huh. to So, you know this is a guilt trip, right? Pretty much. This is, this is literally a guilt trip to the audience. Like, oh, uh, you don't want me yeah. to go get a job. I'm not like, I don't give no, a fuck. Please leave. Of course. 
like it, it, this is this is so much of a of a hard bag of like oh you yeah. don't want me to do this you love me right you love everything yeah. that i do and 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 uh mm -hmm. you know it's very what am i trying to say it's like ex-boyfriend syndrome oh you loved how you i used to do this for you right and this yeah. for you and it's like mm -hmm. i'm better without you bitch <laughs> But you know that that's Phil for you. Always bet on yourself. Of course. Doesn't matter if you're male, female. Always bet on yourself. Or if you're a Wesley Snipes, always bet on black. That too. Mm -hmm. Two level job. That's gonna be next to nothing compared to what I'm making on YouTube, and that's what I mean. I don't even know what to do, you know. So, please, <clears throat> please, pledging if you have. Okay. Please consider. Uh huh. Uh, you know, please consider going above and beyond whatever you, however you can, whether it means above and beyond. My stuff that you usually don't liking the videos that you usually don't. Um, here's the thing, right? Don't. Yeah. Here's the thing. Back then. It was more, this is the 2016, so it was more like, eh, you know, more uh, 40, 60 of hate, you know, towards him. He still had his mm -hmm. core audience of people that liked him and showed up and did kind of, that kind of stuff. But he his, his audience has floundered. Mm -hmm. Like, he's, he's floundered hard. You can sit here and say that he hasn't floundered hard, but he is floundered so hard of course um, you know using the loot crate uh, uh referral code which i have in the description oh wall, loot crate referral code get something out of it so Ooh. money to the wind right at least you get a loot crate so you're throwing money to the wind a little bit of referral credit for it or maybe uh -huh. check out my girlfriend's business, the black current, which you see on your screen. Whatever it is. <laughs> my girlfriend's uh, business. Going above and beyond. And at this point, you know, I really was thinking things were going to turn around. And How the hell is her business help you? I have no idea. Did she give you a cut? Like... Like, the, does she give you a cut of the uh, of the money if they sell soap? You get all the money. Like, I, I need... I, I, you never really know what Phil do. No, you really don't. No. One thing I have noticed with my okay, yeah, that that's that's about right. The first twenty four hours, mm -hmm. I had a video that grew over the, the over the next week, but you know that's the thing is you gotta check the temperature and stuff. You know, yeah, I've noticed that. YouTube stopped recommending me Atlas's videos, and I'm like, what the fuck's that about? Oh. Just stopped. What happened there? I have no idea. Just stopped. And normally, when you're a superstar like that, they'll they'll shove it down your throat. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck, YouTube? Why are you not shoving this down my throat? After a slow summer, it's not looking that way. It's a slow, and I slow summer. No. All right, it's that. Si is that simple? No. All right. Well, that's it. I'm really not even going to go into any kind of uh, any more plugging. I think I've just been more real than I have been in most of the, any of the plugs I've done this year. Right? Oh, you're more real, okay. all right? Mm -hmm. Real it's fake. Just, and I hope that it will turn around, but I'm just going to keep plugging away. All right, everyone? Plug away, Phil. All right. All right. Uh, all right. 
All right, folks. All right, folks. Uh -huh. I'm going to that is it. In the pre-stream, and we're gonna get back into Dark Souls 3. Check out these. Uh huh. I haven't been to yet. And, yep. Uh, That's all right, folks. That's that. Okay. All right. Thank you. And all right. All righty. You know what's? You know what's nuts about that pre-stream? I know it felt like four hours. It was really a half an hour. It seemed like a lifetime, really. It really did feel like a lifetime. It was a half an hour. It was a lot in that half an hour. Holy shit. But it was a half an hour of... <laughs> what did we learn about this pre-stream? Uh, DSP's gonna lose his house. That didn't happen. Girlfriend had products that was supposed to make you feel better about yourself. Didn't. Yeah, the black current was a was a you know it was a uh, a thing. Mm -hmm. She wanted her, she wanted to cook, clean, and make soap, and that's it. Wax tars and shit. Why would gamers want wax tars and? Well, soap is one thing. I'll, I'll, I'll give them that, but soap? Yeah. DSP barely showers, so, you know. Mm -hmm. Man, he was selling He was selling the Black Current stuff like it was fucking no tomorrow. He's like, I don't like get... Like it was going out of style? Like, I don't buy the synthetic soaps. I just use my, my girlfriend's soap. Like, yeah, because she makes yeah. them. Does that make fucking sense? No. Like, why the fuck am I buying soap if you bought all the soap, dipshit? <laughs> That's good. Oh, I had. Okay. It'll probably come back in a minute. It's only uh, it's only five in the morning. It's only two over there. Uh -huh. Also, also because I talked to him a lot, he's he got mm -hmm. up pretty early today to do stuff. Uh. You know, and he went to go see Blue Summer. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. You saw the ghosting of bustings. You know me. I like. I wonder to if it made him feel good. Yeah. I was gonna make you. Yes, I made the Jedi cat talk now, and his eyes blink, and he has a red eye that it goes um, Sif. I think. But it I looks think like he's winking. I think. I think you should make a Quailon Jin one. <laughs> Quailon Jin? Yeah, I could probably do that. I know. I know you're 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 on the dark side, but I feel like it needs to be done. <laughs> well, you know, what was it? He he is wearing Jedi garb, but it's. It's the blanket over the head. It's, that's the that's the main part. It's just a blanket. I could have the red um, lightsabers in the background or blue lightsaber. I've got a green screen in the present. Moment. Wow. Oh, you saw it? No, 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 not that. I oh, okay. I executed someone. Nice. Yeah. And then I ran out of bullets. You ran out of bullets? Here, let me see that thing. Okay. Hello, hello. How low can you go? Hey, laughing boy. Of course. Hey, laughing boy. <laughs> Of course. I've got this down to a fine art now, so, you know. I'm sorry, it's just the way you said, here, let me see that thing, and it just goes off. It's like, Daphne, <laughs> why are you pointing the fucking gun to your beak, you idiot? I know. <laughs> hey, laughing boy, there was one bullet left in the chamber. Enemy is 
God, they were. See, I'm gonna teach um, Snood and Ingrid how to do this. Yes. Because I've seen other um, YouTubers and what have you doing it. Isn't and... it such con uh, coincidence that Phil's spending on WWE Champion this year exactly lines up the tips he's made? No, not at all. Totally makes sense, no. right? Ten, ten grand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He made eleven grand, and he spent ten of it on uh, WWE. I mean, if you had, I, what I was going to ask you, what is that monthly? The last three months, what is that like? Two thousand five hundred on champions. Give or take, yeah. So he spends two and grand. The is that that be, yeah, and is it before taxes? Because he still has to pay taxes. You know? If he spent that kind of money, it makes you wonder. It's like, hmm, hmm. Is that yeah. why the uh, games and you playing Baldur's Gate and the gaming starting to become less and less and less? Like, you ever notice the gaming's becoming less and less and less and less and less? Much. Oh, yeah, he definitely is writing it off as a business expense. But also, like... WWE, well, I don't have to say this. You guys know this. WWE Champions is his downfall. Like, we, we know that yeah. he's spending money on, on WWE Champions. We know this, and we're not here to say that he doesn't. Uh, the problem is, and, like, why I'm here is I pay attention to the production. Like, the minute he gets the Boulder Skate 3, I'm out. Fuck that. I ain't staying for that. You ain't staying for that, and I ain't staying for that. Who wants to stay for DSP's Boulder's Gate 3? Mm -hmm. Or any of this shit. All of it is always about money. Of course. I'm trying to find, like, the short ones. Oh, here's a 21-minute one. Like, anything that's, like, an hour 14 of pre-stream, I'm, like, not playing it. Yeah. I'm not playing an hour 14. Like, that's, that's basically your current. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. DSP here live on the Welcome, screen. welcome, welcome. Today is Wednesday, August 16th, 2017, which means, yes, ladies and gents, we're in the second half of the month already, and it is the hardcore gaming season. It has begun. Um, Ooh, it has I begun, has it? Imagine. I want, I, uh, mm -hmm. imagine. Imagine. I just want you to imagine yeah. that mm -hmm. he's going to spend... Forty thousand dollars on this video game. Yeah, it just and you know how many people would, mm -hmm. and and I'm talking to deadheads and everyone out there. That's a lot of money to waste on something. Of course, it's a lot of money. Like to not upgrade your business or do anything, just to spend. You know, these people probably work their blood off to make. To give that money to DSP and DSP just spends that money willy nilly. And a lot of us, and what I say here is we stream more, we do more than DSP gaming. We don't make that kind mm -hmm. of money. Yeah. And I'm not saying that we should make that kind of money. I'm just saying in general, we don't make that kind of money. So for him, if he really loves doing this, you would have a yeah. better setup and get things done. You would always think about new stuff to do mm -hmm. and you're not you're not getting it done and also the year's still kind of young so and he seems like his audience and everything else is floundering pretty hard mm -hmm. so he's still got a lot to go because he can't he can't really escape us he can't yeah. really escape uh, the streamer's lifestyle and all this stuff. This is his own hell. Yeah. And even if he makes, if he, even if he spends 40k at the end of the month or the end of the year, that's still pretty impressive money. But it's just, it, it's the money's becoming harder. He has to beg harder for it, and 
He's gonna ruin more lives for for what? Some cars for Triple H? Mm -hmm. For a Cody Road rare variant? Right, but he's not. This is not. This is a man out here that says he's successful, begging other people for money, begging people for, for his addictions and lying about it. Yeah. Lying about these addictions every day for the rest of his life, hoping, hoping that no one notices. And the only reason to buy a new phone is because the phone that he has doesn't, doesn't have updates for WWE champions. He's not a content creator. You don't give a fuck about this. Yep. You say a lot about me and a lot about other things. At least I'm over here trying to create something, trying to get something done. Does DSP ever get anything done? No, of course not. No. Does DSP actually care about the pipeline about his streams? Yeah, we're, we're different from other detractors. We do things that, that other detractors uh, not really take. They get ideas from it. I'm not going to go like, oh, my God. They No, no, it's out there for... It's out there for anyone to to remix and do on their own. But it's just one of those things you sit here and you go like, all right. Ideas grow. But that's the thing. It's it's just he sits here and he gets all jealous of other people's toys and other people's girls and all that stuff. And he sits here and he goes like, why is my business not growing? Why is people don't pay attention to me like like they used to, and it's like, no one cares about you like that anymore, Phil. No one gives a fuck about you playing like a dragon. Yeah, I'm sorry, but only a couple of people, only a couple, and when I mean a couple, it's like two or three, are really paying attention to the bowl's gate and paying the money. Right. Because if you he's have... Really getting, he's not really getting gripe out of it. Right. If you really cared about about your business, and actually, you yeah, playing Snow Days probably would give you forty fourteen dollars. He's only playing games that give him max amount of money, and he's not happy about Boulder Skate. That's why he's miserable because he's playing a game he absolutely morally does not like because it 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 has social cues and other shit. Yeah. Why the fuck are you gonna? Why are you going to play a game that has social cues and, and things you want? I just want fucking... I just want to play the game and make as much money. Profit. Profit. This whole audience has turned against them. And if I... I know they're not listening. If they are listening, it's like, why the fuck are you paying this guy... 40k of your hard-earned money to to play uh wwe champions do you love them that much at this point we love them more than you do not not you you know what i mean like the trolls get more out yep. get more content out of him than than you do because our stuff is edited right edited and and thought of DSP didn't get the point of shorts because he's like, I didn't get, the, I didn't, it's only one cent per, per whatever. I went like, hey man, it's all, it's all part of the algorithm, right? You got to get the algorithm going. You got to get things. But he didn't do the work, basically. Indeed, he ain't he ain't willing to do the work ever, 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 ever. Believe that the first half of this work passed by so quickly. Like, seriously, like it flew by for me. Um, I don't know about you, but it really I feel like July just seems like a never-ending month. <laughs> it really did. And now here we are with new releases. Pretty cool, right? Um, it's been a good week. Yes, water closet. I, I 
Agreement Water closet. Has been a great week so far. Water closet, a great week so far. I would love to hear about. I would love to hear about Water Closet. Uh, I know he ain't around, but I would love to go like, man, what did you see in DSP in 2016? I know this guy's probably married and kids and probably doesn't give a fuck about this dude. Never thought about him ever again, but I would love to like, not just a former deadhead, just these are not, they're not dented yet, but like a former DSP fan that was, that, that hasn't been in the vortex, like out of it like to just go like hey what do you think of current side fill mm -hmm. but we'll never know but if maybe but you know we're we're a big audience maybe i'm not looking for i'm not looking for the uh the plum girls of the willows or the my ruins and that I'm talking about old people are like, yeah, I used to watch the ESP. Um, yeah, I mean, Sonic Mania. Yeah, man, it's a really cool retro throwback game that I'm enjoying the hell out of. It's challenging, but it's fun. It's fun to play and to watch, I think. And it's long. Like, I'm only about roughly halfway through the game at this point. So we've got at least another four or five hours or more of gameplay of Sonic Mania coming this week. Um, yeah. And now mm -hmm. we're playing yeah. Agents of Mayhem. Agents of Mayhem, a mm -hmm. kind of spinoff of Saints Row. It's awful. And I'll be honest with everyone. The gameplay is solid. It does seem pretty solid gameplay-wise. Um, Story-wise, it seems it's been pretty slow. But that's because I spent... Um, a pretty significant amount of chunk of yesterday's stream doing side content. What I wanted to do <clears throat> was unlock as many of the optional agents as possible before I could continue on mm -hmm. with the game because I said, hey, have a big roster of characters to pick from rather than only be limited to the characters that you get from the story, right? So I did that, and it, I mean, it took about half of yesterday's stream because there were three optional characters. <clears throat> and to do those, you actually have to do about a, a pretty lengthy mission to start, and then you have to do a second part of each mission. So, I ended up spending a lot of yesterday's stream doing this optional stuff, um, and a lot of people were like, ah, oh, it's boring. Well, you know, gameplay-heavy games, you know, you might say are boring. You know, I kind of agree. Um, however, at the same time, um, you know, it doesn't mean the game's not good, and it certainly doesn't mean the game won't pick up. You know, I have not been focusing on the story at all. Oh my god, excuse me. Uh, oh. Oh excuse my god, me. that was disgusting. Right into the microphone so, too. Bro, you know, that being belched said, today, right into the microphone. Even though there is side content that's still available. You know, I unlocked all these agents and each agent it, it looks like has a, a major side mission for each one as well. The way I'm I'm looking at it is think of the uh loyalty missions in Mass Effect, right? You get a character, and then you have to do a special mission uh, you know, structure in order to unlock something good for them. Uh, I get the feeling that's what these are as well. But I'm not going to focus on those right away. I'm going to go to the story and try to advance the story a bit today first <clears throat> and see where it goes. Because I am really curious. Um, you know, I am really curious to know um, if... The story is similar to that of Saints Row. Will it have that over-the-top crazy humor, adult-oriented humor, as the Saints Row games are not? Because as you're running around the open world, if you listen to what people are saying, they're actually like, oh, fuck, and stuff like that. Um, so it is really How do now? Theme. But, you know, we haven't really seen much of that in the story. The story almost seems like it's like a generic action superhero. Because it is. So I'm curious to know what's going to happen with that. So. so that being said... Um, yes, uh, today I will be focusing on the story, at least for, you know, the first portion of the, the gameplay stream, and then we'll see where it takes us. Maybe I'll then switch later on to, to uh -huh. content and the like. We'll see. Oh, okay. You couldn't do bingo on this. This is way too boring. <laughs> snort. Slow snort. 
All right. So, All right. being said, that's today's mm -hmm. stream. We use the Mayhem right now. Later tonight will be more Sonic. Tomorrow's mm -hmm. pretty much going to be more of the same. More Ages of Mayhem and more Sonic tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Um, Friday, I'm only able to do one day play stream. Because basically this week my schedule shifted. Where Friday is like Saturday and Saturday is like Friday. So, only one what? day play stream on Friday. And Tuesday is like Monday? And I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. I'm going to see, you know. What does that the mean? conclusion of Sonic, I'll do that. If not, it'll be more Ages of Mayhem. I don't know. We'll see how far I am in all the games. Um, you know, dur during the course of the week, judge by that, and then we'll determine what's going to be Friday. And then Saturday, I'll be doing two okay. games. Um, and we'll go from there, okay? All right, mm -hmm. I don't really have much else to talk about on pre stream today. Oh, okay. You know, obviously I find it very hard to believe. Let's do some shout outs. Um, let's see here. So. Yeah. Danny Hikari started the cheering today with a 19 bit cheer. So have you ever considered running through the Donkey Kong Country Trilogy? Um, yes. I never played those games. I actually invented Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2 once each. Um, I don't believe him. Back when Game Rental. You don't believe it? Way, I don't believe him. Um, but I never actually bought them or like. You know, you know. You know, nostalgia is one of those things, right? That you have good mm -hmm. memories or bad memories. You think about something, you know. You remember the first mm -hmm. time you played Donkey Kong and all that stuff. Like, when he goes like, yeah, I rented it. It's like, no, you're lying to, to everyone. You didn't buy them. Like, everything it feels like on the Super Nintendo you rented. You never owned anything, it seemed like. And, and the only thing you played was, like, the most obscure like hype rpgs of the day like like you must you know you either knew something on the internet or knew people about final fantasy until later but people yeah, you're telling me you played earthbound final fantasy 3 chrono trigger all these classics on a fucking snes get the fuck out of here Considerably, you know, played them. I probably played them for a few hours each. And I don't really remember them. I mean, I did play Donkey Kong Country Returns, you know, a few years ago. But because you never yeah, played I never it, played the original Donkey Kong Country game from start to finish. However, I'd be interested to know how I can do that. Like, are they available on virtual consoles, modern Nintendo consoles, or what? You know, or what? Quite honestly, I can't. Or what? I, unless I guess I could emulate them, right? Them. Oh, he's thinking about emulation. I guess you can do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, you bring up the e word. That, he acts like he um, acts all so, yeah, stupid. I consider doing it. Although it's funny because over the years I've tried to do, um, I've tried to do some main, like, uh, not main, some some 2D style platforming marathon and stuff like that. I've, I've tried to try it. I put up as events for Patreon and stuff like that. A Sonic side-scrolling marathon or stuff like that. And every time I try to do mm -hmm. that, people say, don't do it. Seriously, I okay. don't know what it is. My viewing audience, for some reason, at least... Don't do the, it. The ones who are... are Relax. Kind of the, I don't say, do it when you want to do it. Silent majority, all right? Not, oh, the silent not majority. The minority. Mm -hmm. When they want to go. For whatever reason. The people in your head. Like hey, pups. Play these retro games. Um, for whatever reason, I just don't know why. Um, over the years, the few times when I have kind of gone back to play those games, they don't do very well. Pretty much, yeah, it's, so it's the thing money, thing Pops. It's probably be a few of the, the classic Super Marios. But outside of that, you know, any of the retro games... The I classic play, Super Marios? <laughs> my viewing audience, so it's hard for me to dedicate time to say, oh, I'm going to do classic games of this or this and this. You know, I do have the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. stuff that people are going to watch, right? Oh, yeah. So, so, I don't know. I don't know. I'm an idiot. Because people think that those 8-bit, mm -hmm. 16-bit era games are just too old. Too no, for me no, no, it. no. I feel like, maybe I'm wrong, but I always feel like there's always an audience. There's always someone want to watch that kind of gameplay streams mm -hmm. he's just 
not equipped for that. Also, he's just not equipped for a lot of things. He wasn't built for that, you know. Right, you have to be you have to be a different animal to be built like that. He's just not. Mm -hmm. He's just not. Yeah. He's just not built like that. I'm playing, I'm playing Sonic Mania and I'm freaking loving it. Because it really does loving it is a throwback it. to that era. The game plays like the classic Sonic games. I love it. But for whatever reason, you know, people don't seem to catch on to watch me to, want me to watch those older games. Because you suck. No. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? All right. Um, blame Figs. Hold on a second. Blame Figs. Did a 10 bit cheer and said, Has your, have your gaming skills improved over the course of eight years? Yes. Nope. Nope. Worse. P15555 did a 25 bit cheer and some guy DM'd me saying that you're a Nazi. You support Nazis and you're a Nazi. He is one. He is. He is. Just so you know, I'm a, apparently I'm a Nazi. I am. Mm -hmm. a you are one. I am. What? What did he say? Could you rewind it? What? Apparently, I'm a Nazi. I am a pedophile. I oh, there you go. <laughs> well, what did oh, they? Okay. Oh, okay. There you go, guys. DSP has said it. That that's great. Uh, it's official. It's a it's official. DSP is uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll link this to so you can give this to to your your favorite detractor. That is not me, because I am no one's favorite detractor. I know. And you can have clean, you can have that clean, and uh, you know, deliver it to everyone and spread spread the word. Yep, yep. Fuck, maybe I will. It'll, it, I'm a thief. Yep. I am. Oh, let's see. I'm probably a killer, a murderer. Yeah, you murder video games. Let's see what else. Yeah. A maker. You murdered uh, that. You're that. Every any negative thing you possibly think of, I am a racist. Definitely a racist. Yeah. <laughs> I hate every race. Whoa. Oh, Give me a second. We're gonna rewind that. Quiet on the set. Even Craig. It's quiet on the set, guys. All right, like every, every negative thing you could possibly think of, I am. A racist, I'm definitely a racist. Hardcore. Negative thing you could possibly think of, I am. A racist, I'm definitely a racist. Hardcore. I hate every race. Every single one. There's no exception. I hate every race possible, including whites. I hate every race. Terrible race. So. You know, it's all true, obviously. It's obvious that the only reason I'm here on stream right now is to steal money from you while spreading my racist, bigotry, my sexist, vile, uh, you know, negativity. All I'm here for. I'm not here to play a game and have fun. I'm secretly the devil in disguise. Where people don't realize the bi the biggest trick the devil ever pulled was could before people sit here i know he's joking but it doesn't matter him saying it like this you can just do so much mm -hmm. convincing the world that he didn't exist that's right i'm actually the devil in a skin suit a human suit here on stream every day folks there you go. So there you go. I admit it. I openly admit all of it. I am. Horrible, horrible, horrible creature. A demon. A demon made flesh. That's that's what I am. <laughs> Phil Burnin' Hell Burnell. There you go. Phil Burnin' Hell oh, Burnell. Burnin' Hell Burnell. Yeah, I like the sounds of it. My, uh, it rolls off the tongue. ...for you here on stream. Chances are, folks, if someone is PMing you out of the blue and saying negative stuff, it's probably because they're being dicks and they're trying to troll you. And you probably should block that person and report them to Twitter. To Twitter, yeah. Report them to Twitter, first of all. Twitter won't care, but report them to Twitter. Then report them to Twitch. <laughs> okay, there you go. <clears throat> all right, let's see here. 
He said reports to Twitter. Okay, Eddie is back. He did a couple cheers this morning. I'm not going to read them. Why? Oh, Eddie cheering. Good job, Eddie. Uh, Eddie the troll. Alexander Ross, he did a 15-bit cheer. He says, have you ever considered playing... Damn it, I was going to book that name, but now it's taken. On stream. Damn you, Eddie the Troll. Like $7 not on, on Amazon. Not on YouTube. PS1 disc right into your PS3. This is on oh. Twitch. <clears throat> uh, no, I can't. Ah. Because the PS3 does not play PS1 games. Um, on, uh, From what I'm to understand, well, it's only if it's backwards compatible, which mine is not. So that would not work. Um, I would need to get them on virtual console. You know, PSN, virtual, you know, whatever. PS, what are they called? PS1 Classics? But I don't know if they're available there. Um, but again, you asked me if I'm going to play a retro game that no one really has ever asked for. Do you want to um, play it, Phil? Would I consider playing it? Yes, if people... Like, literally every time someone asks me to play something, here's the answer. Yes, yes maybe. I would consider playing it if there was demand for it. However, there doesn't seem to be demand for it. Here you go. It's funny. There's no demand. Well, what about the woman? It's, it's, it's the same answer. I would play if you wanted it. No one's asking for it. Therefore, I don't play. No it. one's asking yeah. for it. <clears throat> Shout out to Captain <clears throat> Cave Man. We did a 16 bit cheer. Thank you, Captain Cave Man. Shout out to Dooley. We did a 200 bit cheer. Dooley. Cave Man. Captain Cheery says every PS3 plays PS1 games. Um, is that true? Yes. I was, but not I was PS2 games. Only PS3 were nope. Nope. All the PS1 games can play PS. That. When did that happen? It was mm -hmm. always a thing. I know it's really weird, it but was, it was always a thing. It was always a thing. I know. It was the 80 gig that only played the PS2. Yes, it's true. Wow, I didn't yeah, know Yeah, 60 this. and 80 gig, or emulation, yeah, or I something. Sorry, the 60, the 60 gig. Yeah, not the 80 gig. No, the 80 would only play PS1. You have there's to get. I had that. I had that PS2. Yeah, I had that PS3 that there's could play PS2 games. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, but it, it got too dusty and died. I should have dusted it, mm -hmm. but who knows? Shonda Ark did a temperature and Eddie is one of your biggest supporters. Hollow One One. What a name. Hollow One and then the word one. So it's Hollow the number one and then the word one. It's a double one. So hollow the double one is it? Okay. Twenty bit cheer. Thank you, hollow one one. Uh huh. That is a, an interesting yet hard to say name. <clears throat> and Danny Hikari did a fourteen bit cheer and confirmed that yes, PS one plays or PS three plays all PS one games. You should know this. PS two games. Okay. Oh no, you know he's, he he just only reports it. He doesn't know the news. I did not know the PS. Don't know a lot of things. Can play the PS one game. I had no clue. I've only owned a PS3, you know, since like two years after its launch. I never knew this. Great. Okay. Just blow your nose, sir. All right, is there yeah. anything else to talk about? I don't think so. So, thank you, everyone. I'm snorting it. A bit of early cheering there. I appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll have some more. Man, he said, is there any more? I don't think so. Technically, the 15 bit cheers is now only the PS4 oh, played all PS2. Games. Penguin. <laughs> I know, right? <clears throat> I know. You know? Whatever, whatever happened to Kekin? All right. Um, so, folks, thank you for being here on stream. I have no idea. There are many ways you can support. Oh, God, I there it is. To continue to be able to stream daily. To continue. Time. I have a lot of fun here with you every single day. Oh, fun. This is Patreon at patreon.com forward slash dark side fill. When you pledge there, you earn personal perks. Depending on your pledge level, as well as contribute to a monthly goal. The monthly goal oh. this month is all about Halloween. If you pledge five dollars or more this month, you'll be nominating and voting on games for my Halloween marathon, and if you get the funding goal, you'll be voting on what Halloween costume I'll be wearing during the Halloween oh. marathon. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, in addition, there's other perks you earn, like text or verbal thank yous to my videos, shoutouts, uh, getting your questions answered on my Q and A show, Ask the King, getting a private video, video made. all this stuff is possible. All right. Uh huh. Consider pledging if you have it. It's very important. Supplemental income that allows me to afford supplemental the income electricity to afford the internet bills. The electricity. Go. Ah, the big bills. So check it out. Patreon.com forward slash dark side fill. Know it. Also, know it. there's Teespring. I'm not gonna go crazy mentioning it. Um, I'll be honest, it's been dead for like two weeks. No one's ordered anything like two weeks. Uh-huh. Um, oh. But it's ups and downs with the merch shop. That's how it works. Like, usually. Um, every once in a while, I'll get a sporadic order, and then if there's a new line of product, I'll get some more orders, and then it kind of dies down again. So, 
However, if you'd like these merch, like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or a mug or anything like that with my logo and stuff on it, check it out. There it might be spring, okay. <laughs> oh, clearing right, the throat, yep. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, folks, obviously. Obviously. Obviously, folks. Obviously. The biggest thing you can do during live stream would be mm -hmm. to be uh -huh. either cheering or subbing or tipping. All right? You cheer with me, mm -hmm. sub to the channel, or tip me by clicking the tip section yep. for my stream and, you know, filling up that uh -huh. information. You will get a mm -hmm. shout out during the stream. Right. Wow. In addition, mm -hmm. if you cheer 50 bits or more, if you click the share yep. button after subbing, or if you tip mm -hmm. $2 or more, you will get a visual pop up as well on the screen. A visual pop up. Visual I know. And verbal recognition. Now keep in mind, is that my discretion? If I read your message or not, it all depends on what it is. If it's something trolling, or if it's something. Uh, something trolling. You know, insulting. Uh huh. Racist, or if it's something that's completely yep. crazy off topic, or a giant wow. fucking paragraph. I'm probably not going to. A giant to fucking paragraph. Uh huh. You could just say. <laughs> Did you know that? He's just going to say. <laughs> yeah. During the stream, I appreciate it. Um, I really do. There you we go. You guys are the reason mm -hmm. why I'm still here. I would have been gone. No lie. No exaggeration. I would have been I gone. To this stream no lie. It didn't work out. I would have been gone yep. in March. Would have been gone. Six months later. Six months later. Is to be. Should have been gone. Out. So thank you everyone. And it's working. Guilt trip. Guilt uh -huh. trip. All right. So Guilt now the final trip. shout outs and then we'll get started with gameplay. Okay. Cool. Um, thank you. Yep. Phoenix Rush One, who did a temporary. Phoenix he's Rush One. Ten shirts for my Teespring store. You he's know? an idiot. I wonder if Phoenix One still has all those shirts. Probably never got them. It was ripped off. Lost in transit. The shipping was going via Baltimore, and the cargo <sighs> ship was supposed to deliver it this week, and it's run into a bridge. Oh Not no. Not gonna happen. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no, I know. So while I was been talking to you, yeah. I went to the bathroom. And also my tiger now. The the controller it's in his hand. He's ah, actually yes. playing it now. He's he's a little Oh yeah, of course sir. You know, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna push it to the limit. The limit I'm more methodical and think about every pixel and, and you're like, all right, I got to do some production stuff. Check this out. Oh, yeah. I got to push it to the limit. 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 Walk around the razor's edge. Edge. Yep. Stand on it na, 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 until you feel it. Look, his eyes blink. He's, 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 his hands are moving the controllers. My mouth moves when I talk. Limit. Push it to the limit, the limit. Limit! We're always pushing if that's it not to gonna freak, if, if that's not going to freak people out now, I don't know what will. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. There you go. Freaking out. Freaking out people. Yeah. The, uh... The D-Dog way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. I'm a Jedi Knight. I rose back from the dead. Came back for Easter. Like a zombie. I'm still figuring out what our Easter plans are, guys. I know you're like, you don't know. You, you never know. Mom, my, my mom wants me to come to her place or something, you know. Maybe, you know. Break maybe... bread. Have fun some hot crust buns. Yeah. Sometime, sometimes mom will go like, we're going to church. And I'm like, boy. I get I it. I get it. It's like the only one time they're like, oh, it's Easter Sunday. It's like the Super Bowl of, of religion. Uh, yeah, of religion that day. It's like, oh, everyone's here for Easter. Everyone's yep. here. Yep, yep. And before anyone goes like, that's cool. I just was mm -hmm. never into it. That's all. This is that's not fun. Yeah. I can confirm or deny that right now find out you can confirm or deny it you can confirm or deny it 
he is supposed to say I neither can confirm or deny. Not you can. Confirm. You can't. Phoenix Rush is a liar. You did not buy any shirts. <laughs> you are a liar. Okay, good. How dare you? Told you that wasn't gonna happen. Yeah. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Yeah. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. So this motherfucker is, is shaming people yeah, buying shirts. Know. No shirt. Mm -hmm. just in, no Literally box, so. shaming people. Well, thank you for the cheer, but you are a liar. How dare you lie? Unacceptable. It, it's like, no, um, you know, people purchase the Project Serve and t-shirts and never got a meter. Sonic Media. <clears throat> on, uh, while I'm liar. Getting ready to stream here, and I actually post him on Twitch. And I guess that... Uh, Who hosts on Twitch? Well, and people were like, oh, he's going to beat me. Flying batteries, uh, which is really hard. It's only the fourth level of the game, but it's freaking hard, man. Apparently, he died. Freaking hard. <laughs> yep. And shout out to TT115, who just subscribed to the channel. GT115. The sub, I appreciate it. Shout out to you. All right. Mm -hmm. So. So. That's it. I think it's time to start with Agents of Mayhem. By the way, I'm congested. Really? My nose is congested. I am congested. congested. Right before I start. Mm -hmm. so I'm hoping it kicks really? In a here. Yep, uh -huh. he's can. Oh. See, oh. Up there. Yeah, yeah, he's congested. That is. Uh huh. Cool down here in Washington State for like three weeks. Yep. It was 90 plus degrees. It was a crazy heat wave we had. Now 90 plus. Heat wave burning on the heat wave. The office mm -hmm. still heats up to about 90 At degrees. At least turn it. Like that up. probably until like September. Uh huh. Early September. September. I can take the air conditioner out of the window. Do, 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 do. do you remember? September. In Washington again. State, where I make all this up. money today. He turns on the air conditioning. So you ever turn on your air conditioner and you get you get your nose suggested? It happens all the time. <laughs> all the time, sir. All the time. That's why I don't even. Okay. Hopefully, uh, mm -hmm. enjoy the stream. Sonic is made nope. later tonight. All right. Thanks, everybody. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I'll be bored shitless. Can't wait. Yeah. Bored shitless. He is definitely just bored shitless. I've learned that. But here's the thing. Uh, mm -hmm. if he if he went back to this format, everyone will love him. Yep. But he won't. And we won't have bingo. So keep doing mm -hmm. what you're doing, Phil. You're doing great. Of course. I, I I'd say you make you make the pre stream two hours long. We we'll drive King Jad nuts, but never surrender. I mean, you could cut the well, you can cut it in half and make it an hour long, but you're not gonna do that either. Nope. I say, Phil, make it two and a half hours long. Screw the gameplay. Yep. And of only course. play games for an hour. Yes. That would be perfect. Yes. Spontaneous. Waste more time. Tell tell me more about uh tell me more about light dark, light dark, light dark, light dark. <laughs> light dark and all that other shit. I've got a racist jerk, can I say it? I don't know if I should. Uh oh. Uh, we'll, we'll make it not racist by making it no denomination. So, okay, we'll we'll make it like DSP. So, DSP and Keemstar were in a car together, and Keemstar went around the corner, and somebody ran into him. And the guy says, yeah, well, I didn't see a blinker, so he asked um, D DSP to check to see if the blinker was working. Keemstar said, is the blinker working? And and DSP said, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I got it. You got it? I got it. There you go. See, I made it non-racist now. I did it. Hooray! Idiot. It's just <laughs> that whole thing was like... <laughs> I know. It, it, it... We, you, you stayed with me, and we got there at the end. It was worth the wait. 
I mean, that whole light dark thing was like, <laughs> mm-hmm. we're in hell. Mm-hmm. DSP tell you to go like light dark, light dark, light dark. Like, oh, fuck, here we are. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll do one more of these and let's see. Mm-hmm. Let's find the shortest one and we can. Call it a night? Cause, yeah. You know, X Men don't play them by themselves, you know. <laughs> this is 29 minutes. It literally says DSP pre stream 2020. I feel awful. <laughs> oh, well, we're definitely going to hear that one. All right. Hello, everybody. Holy crap. What a hello. Day so far I've had, guys. Not a good mm. one. Definitely oh. not a good day for me so far. Oh. Get yeah, fucked. <sighs> oh, man. I know. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, you're all doing better than I am. Yeah. It is Thursday, the 3rd of September, 2020. I thought he said well, the turd. Nice. I'm a, a mess, huh? Admittedly. Oh, I'm a uh, mess. Uh-huh. Oh, did it's baby go? Did baby go boom? <laughs> baby come back. You baby went on, yeah, on me. How you doing? I hope you're doing better than me. Baby really, went I mean, boom. So yep. let's talk, guys. Let's I'm talk. Today. I am not uh-huh. feeling well at all today. I he is not feeling ooh, well at all today. My body falling apart on me. <gasps> Okay. DSP might be pregnant if he's late. Point, I'm just, just saying. I'm not DSP pregnant. Well, so tough. Yep, DSP's pregnant. Um, so, baby got my baby. Ear infection is back. It's been four months since uh-huh. I had it last. It was back in oh. May when my ear infection first hit me. And it yep. was Here we go, guys. back then because I had it for about a week and I was trying to ignore it. And hopefully my body mm-hmm. would just heal it and make it go away. That was not the case. Yep. After having it for oh. about a week. My ear mm-hmm. swelled up to the point where it was like sharp stabbing pain in my ear. And oh. it hurt so bad that I had to have a medication. Sharp, it so bad. Okay. Sharp then, stabbing uh, over pain? Over the course of me treating that mm-hmm. ear infection, my other ear got infected. So I had- What the fuck are you doing? Well, every year that watch the stream, he will literally stick his finger in one ear, look at the stuff in his, in his ear, then he will stick a finger in the other ear. So he's, you know, he doesn't wipe his hands or anything. So he's just transferring the wax from one ear to another. So I'm not surprised at all. At all. Hello. I'm just saying, it's just, it just boggles my mind sometimes. Uh huh. Fuck off, Phil. I had a double ear infection mm-hmm. back in May. Okay, double ear infection. Is, the mm-hmm. medication, the eardrops, works really well. Yep. Within you know a couple days, uh-huh. it's pretty much gone, and then you just got to keep doing the medication for a week. All right. Right. So that was back mm-hmm. in May. Uh-huh. That was the first time in my entire life that I had ever had an ear infection. Okay. Your entire and, life, hey. You know, a lot of a lot of people hypothesizing what could have happened. Hypothesizing. You know, Hypothesize. Was that us? Were we the apoc- the and I don't know, but isn't the apophysizing coming? Oh, no, that's the apocalypse. <laughs> Ooh, I like that idea. Or maybe a three-hour pre-stream with an hour post-pre-stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing because you imagine a post-pre-stream? To the pre-stream? I can see that. <laughs> it's like a post-game. To the to the pregame. It's it's the mini me of um of streams. Did it it did it it did it it here's the pre stream of the of the the post of the of the stream. Do 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 do. Welcome everyone. DSP is gonna play Baldur's Gate three today. It's gonna be really boring, and you're not gonna watch it. I'm not gonna watch it. Who gives a fuck about that? And he just got done with the pre-stream, and we're going straight to the post-game live. All right. But it's DSP. the post-pre-stream. Yes, the post-pre-stream. DSP talked for an impressive three hours about nothing, saying light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. Boom. It's like if the Oscars had a red carpet to the red carpet. Yes. And then... Yeah, you still haven't got to the Oscars yet, but you you got the red carpet to the red carpet. 
And then there's the pre-stream to the red carpet. Then everyone, the everyone goes to the seat and they get out. And they're like, "All right, that was a great, that was a great uh, Oscars, everyone." Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, wait a oh, minute. They're, they're, standing on the, they're standing on the red carpet. Going, Did I get my award already? What's happening Shit. right now? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Like Thank you for the likes, guys. I will not, give everyone a celebratory really bubble blow. Um, Ooh. They're mine now. But They're yours? Like, yeah, ESP don't do it anymore. It's mine. I own them. <laughs> 15 likes, yeah! Every 15 yeah. likes, a bubble blow. So fast forward. Oh, what, uh, we'll never get 100 likes ever again. Okay, maybe you I'm being... You're luck in a big city. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't say that. Uh, not in a while. Not in a while, sorry. I don't mean, like, ever again. In a while. This is true. This is true. How bad can get Um, especially during the afternoon time, with all the equipment on and everything, and now on top of that, putting on headphones. Mm -hmm. Headphones. Yeah. Headphones. Headphones. Isolation. Headphones. And I get the feeling that's basically... You get the feeling, do you, Phil? He gets that feeling, that big Man. head feeling. Yeah. My headphones were falling apart. My headphones, oh. Astro A4s. Aww. And I got them in 2017, and I used them constantly. I was been constantly. the noise isolation mm -hmm. ear pads for them, which is a special set of ear pads. Oh. And actually donated oh. a set of these. It's a higher quality. You mean your mom? A set of ear pads that are made more mm -hmm. of a almost like like plastic like or pleather like material leather leather not quite leather not quite plastic and leather basically the way it works is leather it's genuine imitation leather you mean your mom wipe yeah like mm -hmm. he, now he doesn't even use that anymore he uses a toilet bowl seat because he hates all of you they come with that's why he's got his mum wife. For years. Sadly, they have fallen completely apart. And uh -huh. I went on Amazon looking for a replacement, and I couldn't find a replacement mm -hmm. set. So I was like, you know what? I'll just tough it out. I'll just tough it out with these until, like, say, PS5 comes out. Because when PS5 comes out, you don't need, uh, oh. what do they call it? Uh, optical audio headphones with a mixer. He wants that as 3D stuff. one, the 3D headset. 3D mm -hmm. audio audio from the PS5 mm -hmm. itself. So I was like, that point, maybe I'll just buy more. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it. My PS5. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. But never gonna get it. Is the ear cups have been mm -hmm. disintegrating. Like I'm not kidding. Every day. Oh I my god. Off and there's pieces of the ear cup on my. Face. Um, you wear headphones, there, Raven. I, mean, this I wear a lot of headphones. To the fact. Of I wear headphones too. I wear. Do you know how I keep my headphones so fresh? Uh, you wash your ears in alcohol like everyone else. Yes, take I showers. Have showers regularly. Yes, I have showers regularly. You're supposed okay. to uh, wash behind your ears and all that mm -hmm. shit. Do that. Use cotton wool swabs. Never go in the air with the swabs. I've got a special device that goes inside the ear, and it's not that stupid vacuum thing that Bill was using, because you can actually blow your eardrums out doing that. Uh, there's, you can get proper um, steel things that which um, will scoop out the wax out of your ears but i use the swabs around the edge of the ear so i keep my ears pretty clean you know i need to do that i need i need like yeah. the only thing that sells them sir for like five dollars if as much and that's like the top of the range well, i know where i'm going today but also, it's like, you know, like, use a little... I, isn't there, like, anti-acid stuff to get to your earwax, too? Yep, yep. You can get, like, the eardrops, which will... You can um, use, like, the eyedropper, which will squirt it into the ear. You, like, tilt your head for a little while while it does what it needs to do. It feels like bubbling. Not as, like, say, head and shoulders, where it's tinkling. But, it's it, you know, you, you feel something... Then you tilt your head back and it will drain it out. So it gives it a good clean wipe. Right. And also I used to have to go. Yeah, go ahead. Also, to be fair, he probably never 
he probably never cleaned his headphones or any of that stuff. So he has all this bullshit built up in it. Anthony, you remind me of that joke. <laughs> they they said to um, this child, um, what was it? He was wearing glasses. They were like, so if you had no hands, what could you do? What couldn't you do? Oh, I can't draw or play games. Good. If you had no feet, what couldn't you do? Drive. I couldn't. I couldn't be able to dance or drive or walk. And if you had no ears, what could you do? And the kid said, "See." And he was like, "What? What do you mean? Well, if I had no ears, there was nothing to hold up my glasses." <laughs> That's good. Dead jokes! I'll be here a week. Tip your waitress! I mean, he ain't wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm not the enemy here. <laughs> oh, Lord, indeed, Jet uh, Mojo. And if you could see me right now, you'd be saying, not just, oh, Lord, Jedi, Master Lord, Lord Vader. We could rule the universe as father and son. Son. Yes. Look into With your me, heart. You get unlimited power. I mean minutes. Sorry, I was working at a phone call <laughs> Unlimited <center>. minutes. <laughs> yes, I was working at a call center. Oh. Unlimited minutes on your mobile phone. Oh, outage. okay. Okay, sorry. That, that must be the, uh, that must be the deleted scene. Yeah, it was when the Emperor um, lost his job at the Death Star. He was working other jobs. <laughs> I invented this doggy, doggy invisible fence. It was I who created this. Oh no, crap! Lord Vader, I must go sell 13 razors to fund mm. the Death Star. Yes. You're like, what you... <laughs> What age is this? When razors were, were popular. Mm -hmm. Because probably all kinds of shit is building up in that. So as of this yes. morning, I wake mm -hmm. up. Well, first of all, last night. I oh, you wake up? Okay, cool. Trying to sleep. <gasps> you couldn't go to sleep? My, my what? And then you wake up? With a right hand ear that screwed up, and I'm feeling my ear pop in my sleep. I'm feeling the pressure. My ear is swelling. That sounds terrible. Yeah, it, what was it? I didn't know DSP broke down, so he popped, then locked. You know, did he bring it on back? He took it forward? As long as you don't stick it, it, cotton. Yeah, you, you don't stick cotton wool, but no. You, what was it? You would go deaf. I'm surprised he can hear with all that bullshit. Mm hmm. He's like, oh, man. I but see, it's because of gingivitis, right? It goes back to his teeth. Because he's gingivitis and all the rest of it, he's, he's forever, the, you know, the snorting and he's, he's doing stuff with his jaw, which builds up wax build up in his ears. That's why he's getting so much. I went down because um, I had to go to the ENT, which is the ears, note, and throat specialist. Mm-hmm. These are the things I found out. It was like, okay, I did not know that. It's like, I chew gum and all the rest of it, and that's bad for me. Not because, you know, stuff for my teeth, but it, it um, your jaw constantly moving up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. It builds wax, build up in your ears. There we go, kids. You learn something every day. You come for the entertainment, you stay for the education. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Mm -hmm. so I was just singing out. I know. In my, I know that song. My eardrum. In your I'm head. Trying to sleep. Yeah. In your head. So obviously, I, I like the drawing that goes so with this. Like Where's that drawing? We need that drawing back. <laughs> Guess what? With Jasper? Yeah, I'm mean, having that. My neck in my yep. sleep. So now uh -huh. I have shooting pain down my back, Ooh, my pain. left shoulder. All the way that was the name of my band back in school. And We're shooting pain. One, two, three, four. So I can't move Definitely. my head one direction because of shooting pain. Oh, one direction. Shout out. Shout out direction. to Harry Styles. Because you're so whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I so I have like a double pain. I'm in double pain right now. Seriously, this it fucking double sucks pain. Ass. Hang on, like there is no thing as double pain. Either you're in pain or not in pain. There is no double pain. It's not like they can stack that thing. It's not Uno filth. Stack DSP stack and pain, guys. Yes. I give you a draw full. Well, I give you double pain. Wait, what's that? <laughs> I'm stacking it. There you go. You now have to pick up four cards and you get two sets of pain. <laughs> it sounds terrible. Last night, seriously, like I had no solid sleep. I'm in pain in multiple places. I'm in, in pain. My body. I got a swelling in my ear. Mm -hmm. I can't hear out of my right ear. This is not good. All right. So I went on my health insurance this morning. I went on my uh, health insurance. You said, did he because sit he on? He had double pain. He had to go on his health insurance. Did he? Both did he sit on? Was... Did he sit on his health insurance? Like the fuck did you? <laughs> I went on because them. Double pain. Did yes, you? He went did, on you a... did you give him a body slam? What the hell kind of verbiage is this? He felt them up the ways that they shouldn't be felt. So Anthony, with the extra gum, um, the pro problem with that with NutraSweet, certain people can't um, have it because if you read the instructions on it, it says some consumption or extra consumption will cause a laxative effect. Oh boy. That's right. Extra will give you the shits. And that's a double pain in anybody's books. But if you want to get laid, double McGum. Mm -hmm. I'm kidding. Do, 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 double uh, your pleasure, double McGum. Yes. Mentos, the fresh maker. Yeah, if you also want to get laid, Mentos. Mm -hmm. You want to press that girl? You did something stupid? Mentos, Mentos the fresh mesher. The fresh maker. Take some Mentos and then drink diet um, Coke after that. See what happens. Whoa! Sounds like it. Fountain. Sounds like a bad. It sounds like a bad night at the fucking Roxy. I tell you that. Oh yeah. At the Apollo. I'll you, tell Roxy. you that. Oh yeah. You bring out the stand, man. He's gonna pull you off stage. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on something. When he says something mm -hmm. stupid. <laughs> to basically talk to a doctor. So I did exactly talk to a doctor. All right. If pain persists, and see your doctor. The doctor the situation, the doctor was like, well, this sucks that it's recurring. Mm. And I would rather, if this keeps happening, that you come in and say- Was that the so doctor's professional opinion? On, it sucks. One time, yes. okay, it's unusual, but maybe every once in a while it, you get something random. Two times in four months is not good. Something random? And I explained the situation. I said, yeah, I agree with you. Where did he find this? Is this WebMD? Is, is he talking to an app? Dating is a really bad environment for my ear, and I have to wear them all in day. Bad day. environment so for my ear. Bad environment. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta do something doctor, that. doctor, right, well, I'm, I'm in a bad environment for my ear. My office this morning. Doctor, doctor, okay. give me a pain. I, I got a bad so case of I don't pain. It's a real well, you know, he said to the doctor, I feel like a weak, weak one. No, I feel like a teepee. You know what the doctor told him? He's too tense. Okay. So I threw out the ear cuffs. I took disinfectant wipes. And I completely mm -hmm. wiped down my headphones from top to bottom. Headphones? Headphones? Head what about your head floats? Okay. What are your head so, At this point, yeah, you know. No but what about the head? These things have mm -hmm. on them nah, we're not wiping like the head. Fuck that. Okay. Hang on. He said it has no bacteria on it. So but how did he explain the green thing that was on the Wii controller? Right now. Yeah, see, I can hear the, the air conditioner is like really loud. But what can you do? You know, what can well, you, you do? Can adjust, you can adjust your mic with OBS. My head that are falling apart and getting me sick. You know what I mean? So it looks like for the next few months, I'm just gonna have to tough through it. I mean, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. It's tough September through it. <laughs> uh, sorry. What was the other one? It makes me tough through it PS5. right now. I now. I have the money for it. He says, "Doctor, doctor, I swallowed my pocket money. Take these, and I'll see if it changes in the morning." <laughs> that uh that are going to be available for them okay so, you know someone just said you can get replacement ear cups for the astro 850s you can it's the same ones i have i just put them on i put on the original ear cups 
that came with mm -hmm. them that I never used before, I just put on. Uh huh. You can buy oh. the Astro A of A40s are the ones that are on it right now. You can't buy wow. the those isolation ones. I look for them. I can't find them anywhere on the internet anymore. It seems like they they sold out over the past two three years, and now there's a new model of the Astro anyway. So that's why they're not making them. Anymore. The white income. It's and buy yeah, those. I that. Phil, you're a professional. Then buy the he did he didn't he bought a toilet seat that sounded like shit. Then buy those. You know what I have? I bought a uh, a renew version of the of the Logitech G7 uh, uh, G67 73s. Uh, a lot of thoughts and uh, a lot of content creators it is like the choice of content creators. I didn't know at the time. I just thought cool. I need wireless headphones. These seem cool. Are you gonna read Anthony's joke? What? Doctor, doctor, what happened to the man who fell into this circular saw and he had the whole left side of his body cut away? He's he's all right now. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 what was it? That, that challenges me with, a, with my joke. So there's this woman that has no arms and no legs down by the beach out there this jogger runs past and he sees her and she's got like a tear rolling down her eyes and he runs up to her and she goes what's the matter she goes oh, you know i'm all alone never to be loved i'm just gonna sit here and wait for the tide to roll in so he leans over to her and says have you ever been kissed and she says no so he gives her a kiss and she goes Whoo. and then he says to her have you ever been fondled before? And she goes, no. So he fondles her and she just goes, Then he leans right into her ear and goes, have you ever been fucked before? And she goes, no. And he goes, you're about to, the tide's rolling in. I get it. I, it's like he was gonna... I know. Hey, he was, he was being a lot more gentleman than I thought he would be. <laughs> Well, the, that's to Anthony's Doctor Doctor jokes. Thank you and a good night. Try the veal. Doctor Doctor, every time I drink a cup of hot chocolate, I get a stabbing pain in my eye. Try taking the spoon out. <laughs> oh, yes. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why that 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 got me, but it does. It's so good because they're so funny. Doctor, there's an invisible man here to see you. Tell him I can't see him. <laughs> I fucked up the joke, but you know. No, that's fine. There was the other one. What was it? Where the woman wanted breasts, so she goes to the special doctor, Dr. Um, Veal, and he says, well, take your hands and rub it over your breasts and go, shooby dooby dooby, I want big boobies. Do that every day. You know, while you're walking, while you're in the bus and all the rest of it. So she does it every day, and she slowly notices that they're getting bigger. And while she was doing her exercises, she was on the bus, and she was going, shooby dooby dooby, I want big boobies. And the guy sits next to her and goes, oh, you see Dr. Veal. She goes, yeah, yeah, how did you know? And he goes, my one's shooby dee dooby dee doc. I want a really big, anyhow. <laughs> it worked out beautifully. Of course. I think Lefty's gone. Yep, he's called it. Pull the plug. He also has gunner glasses on. Oh yeah. Should ask them. I got an idea for later though. Doctor, doctor, I'm mm -hmm. suffering from an insomnia. Try sleeping at the edge of the mattress. You'll soon drop, drop off. Oh. We're we're gonna have to change this from Hoodlum House to the Comedy Store. Yeah, and then this, comedy. And then we're gonna have the Sandman come get come get me from terrible joke. Mm -hmm. Open mic night. At the Apollo. Let's see. Let's see DSP do that. He's not. He's an idiot. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's the deal. Okay. Clap. And mm -hmm. yeah. what I'm gonna do. I got 
new ear cups. So that's what you're going to do? Okay. But they're softer. They're definitely clean mm -hmm. disinfected. And yep. I'm going to tough this out for two months. I'm going to use these headphones until the PS5 yep. hits. And then I'm going to see, you know, what's available to get for PS5. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to use mm -hmm. these for PS4 and Xbox One or whatever. Wow. We'll just go from there and mm -hmm. forget the noise isolation. What can I do? I, I want to be healthy over getting better audio quality. This is ridiculous at this point. Okay? Now... And all they have to do is press filter on these um, OBS. The good news oh. is, I had leftover eardrops. Okay. Oh, there we the go. Last time that this happened, so I've already started. Leftover eardrops, guys. Because I had leftovers, so that's good. Now it takes about two days for them to really kick in. Doctor, doctor, I was born without a nose. How do you smell? Today. Awful. And the medicine will actually Aww, really start taking effect for a dude. couple of days. So the good news is, even though the medicine's not here yet, I have leftover medicine, so I can already start treatment, um, which is good. And the only problem is, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to yeah. get the medicine right away, because it looks like they... Why? But if you remember back in May, I explained this to you guys, how good my insurance was. Uh -huh. Like, oh, we're just going to hand deliver the medicine to you. It's a little... Hand extra. deliver. We'll drive it to you right yep. away. And they did, twice. Mm -hmm. Twice they did that. Twice. Now this doctor didn't twice. know what I was talking about. Not once, Doctor's not like, twice, oh, but twice. How did they do that last time? I was like, I don't know. I, don't know. I didn't do it. I don't work for you. <laughs> I don't work for I the insurance work company. For you. I don't know how you did it. But no, yeah, I'm sorry. What was it? So it's Boo, get him off the stage. The new Boo medicine, earns. which probably takes mm -hmm. five days. So thank God I have leftover medicine from last time to be giving myself uh -huh. this time period. Because if I didn't, yeah. I might be completely screwed. Okay. Might they so be completely screwed? Right. Okay. A tip of the iceberg. I, I got it. Like two, three lettuce. Iceberg lettuce. Left over from last mm -hmm. time. And then when the new one shows up, I'll just do the whole fucking thing. What I'm really hoping, okay? What I'm really hoping is that it doesn't go to my left ear again. Because that's what happened last time. Oh, no. Remember, I hope it goes to his right left ear again. Much better. And then all of a sudden, my left ear started getting symptoms, and then my left ear got it. I hope not, because then I got to get another medication. It's just a. I got a question. I got a question. Mm -hmm. If yep. we bring this up to him, he'll go like, "You guys are nosy." Why do we need to know this? Because he has nothing else. To, he doesn't know how to do social commentary in a social atmosphere. In other words. He doesn't know how to act. No, not ways. at all. So, you know, he is cringe. Right. I have another joke for you, Anthony, but it's not safe for work, so we'll have to leave it till next time. Maybe for members only. I'm just saying, why do we have to freaking know this? Because, you know, like I said, he doesn't know how to associate. He's socially inept. He thinks this is how people converse and all the rest of it. No, we do not. We don't need to know our dirty laundry. We don't need to air it. And then you put it out there so when it gets questioned, you're like, no, it's none of your business. Leave me alone. Indeed. The fucking pain in the ass. Now, if this happens again, I'm going to the doctor. And you guys know me. I Hang on, but didn't you go to a doctor before? Not because I'm not I'm crazy, because I just don't have money for it. But if this happens again, I don't I have money the doctor, for the right? doctor. I can't fucking have a year How much do you make? A hundred thousand a year? You don't have time to go mm -hmm. to the, the you don't have money for the doctor? No. You don't care for your own health? Here. Who knows? Yeah, you right? can't get a deductible on um issues. WWE champions. This is not some kind of low thing. Your in fact, the doctor asked me this time. They said, "Do you have any discharge coming out of your ear?" I'm like, "No." Discharge? Like, fever? No. They're like, "Well, that's good." But that's whatever, weird. Johnny you Fever. Things, it could have meant you had something else rather than just an ear infection, and that would have made more sense that this came back. But I don't have those things. <clears throat> okay. So I guess we'll see. <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens, okay? Um, so that's why I was late today, and that's why I'm so fucking... I'm, I'm, <laughs> doctor, doctor. I'm in pain. I'm serious. Like, right now, I have throbbing pain in my right ear, and I got shooting pain What in can my I ear. do? Everyone so thinks I'm a liar. Here, okay? I find it very hard to believe. I'll go through this, 
And today we're gonna play Tell Me Why episode two. Ain't nothing but a heartache. We're gonna have fun with this. I swear to you, we're gonna have fun with this. I'm gonna get immersed and lost in the story and just distract myself from the fucking pain I have. Immersed and lost. Because this really sucks. You know it. Okay. And give me money. I have a few brief things to mention on pre-stream, and then we're gonna get started. By the way, I have to end the stream a little early today because I'm. Dinner of all day, days to make dinner too. I'm making it today, but what can you? He's do? making dinner, guys. He has to end the stream because he's so making dinner. And if I end pre-stream on the earlier side, we should have plenty of time to finish this up. Okay. So, a few quick things to talk about on pre-stream. All right. First of all, reminder about the subs goal. We have a sub goal of 675 subs this month, and if we hit that, we'll be doing a. I'm not getting recommended videos for NCAA variety of games, Diving games, Champions. Games, or maybe a few other things. That's on you, Bentley. On Sorry. We enjoy doing this annual. Can I ask who else getting recommended vids? I, I want to be recommended vids for the NCAA Diving Championship. That sounds amazing. Where do I sign up for that? My algorithm's all. Can I drink my medicine after my bath? E e like you told me. Why not? So after I've drunk my, my bath, I've got no more room for the medicine. Ooh. That's a lot of water, though. That's a lot of water. How is that person not dead? <laughs> From water poisoning and all the shampooing and shit. Like, what? Uh. Yep, the Yugu the, the, algorithm? the algorithm is insane. Especially mine is all kind of insane because I don't think YouTube knows what the fuck to do with me. Nope. Because I do a show on Sunday that does like top tens and football, so <laughs> YouTube's gonna go like, man, you must like DSP detracting football and top tens and shit. And here's, a, here's some Britney Spears for old, you. Old movies. Like, no, I don't like any of this shit. <laughs> but if you watch it all, they're probably going like, wow, you really like this shit. Because you know, I want, you know. <laughs> mm. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it's it's good. And baseball and football and Batman. I mean, you know, who doesn't love Batman? It's an annual event. Please consider subscribing to the channel this month, okay? Please continue <clears throat> to nominate games for the upcoming Rageathon Marathon that will take place around the end of this month. I can have a Rageathon so Marathon. Very new to announce that I think you guys are going to like, although we may never see it. It's a double thong. Okay? I received a new animation for a $100 or greater tip. We'll never see it. Stream. Okay, this guess what we're about to guess what by far probably the best one I've ever had for a stream This animation mm. trying to tempt them all of the best And basically what this animation says is Put down put on that damn vest Because if someone tips me a hundred dollars, that's essentially what they're saying They're saying put on that damn vest because we want to see it today. So I'm giving you the entire tips goal in one go Okay, <laughs> she's making the sale there pop has been added and he's out live on the stream right he's now. He's always making the, the put on that damn fist. That animation will play on the stream. Okay, it's really cool. All right. No, it ain't. Really and it was never really seen. Cool. And it was never seen at all. I don't We've seen it. See it. Very rare that someone. You have. I've seen right. it a few times. Very yeah. Uh, okay. Maybe once, once in a blue moon, once every few months, someone will come in and get that much in one go. It's a thing. That symbol Maybe is eats. that vest is a symbol of positivity. He he's baiting these people of trying to get them to bait him to get a hundred bucks, and I bet he gets it. Like he's like, oh, we never get this, and why? Like it, it's like one of those things. It's like, why the fuck have it then if you're not going to get it? You know? <laughs> well, you know, you had to do these things back in the day, right? But he's like, oh, the vest. Uh, we don't get tips like that. And it's like, he's, he's tempting fate going. It's like, guys, I haven't got, I haven't heard my TTS in a while. Hope you guys give me, I hope you guys test that out with some monies. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. That'd be amazing. 
It would be very amazing. But guess what? That's not happening. Nope. Never gonna happen. Nope. Just for clarification purposes, this was not my idea. This was created by a fan. And actually, that was a bit of speed for DSP. Not use this. But this was not my idea to add a hundred dollar tips animation before people start getting a stupid idea. Phil, you oh, you implemented it. You implemented it, right? No, yeah. I don't think so. I don't, I think if really you did. didn't want it, you wouldn't have created it. All right. But you didn't. You. It was pretty, it's such an amazing animation. I, it's I like, oh, I didn't create this. A fan created this. I said no, and this motherfucker said, please, Phil. No, you wanted to make this. Get fucked. Yeah. Guys, I didn't want to make a whatever. Fuck you, Phil. So that's there. It's live. They forced me. Okay. It's good. It's live. If someone does tip hundred dollars, we're gonna see an live new best animation. <clears throat> okay. Live. Okay. Live. The other thing I want to talk about on free stream today, before we get to shoutouts here, is Nintendo had one hell of a go overnight. Nintendo. One hell of a go overnight. Shit for Mario's 35th mm -hmm. anniversary. Okay. First of all, a hell of a HD go. Collection. Super Mario 64. Super uh -huh. Mario Sunshine. Super Mario Galaxy. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Modern graphics. Not right, modern. Not really. What it is is they're upscaled. Oh yeah, modern, modern graphics. Nintendo yeah. Switch for sixty dollars. It's a collection. They're faithful. I believe it's live in two weeks. I want to say. I think it was like the eighth or something like that. I could be off by a day. And off by a day. Available for only a limited time. So they're doing this on well. purpose. They're selling these as a bundle. All right. Um, starting mm -hmm. on, I think it's the 18th, and basically that's going to go through. I think they said early next year. And if you don't get early it, next year, okay. By you're then, never going to get it. Gone. Well, nope. in reality, I don't think it'll be gone. I think what they're going to do. Never going to get it. Never going to get it. Never going to get it on the shop. Nope. No. Because right now it'll be a collection through the holidays. And then after that, mm -hmm. then they'll split them up, I bet. So this is probably oh. a great idea. Um, probably. Because people are going to buy the shit Hopefully. out of Or the they want to just get people to buy the, the, the collection the so they can have they it. They want to experience them again mm -hmm. with modernized controls and graphics. Or, mm -hmm. never or this is their first opportunity to do so, and they can just do it on their Switch without mm -hmm. any kind of needing backwards compatibility. You know what I mean? They don't have to pull out a Wii U or whatever. Now, the bad news for me is I've played... Oh, Wii U. All right, I've done full... Uh, full playthroughs of these games. In That's fact, good. Mario 64, I believe I played last wow. year. Mario 69, mm -hmm. I played... Mario Sunshine. Game to get direct capture out of my Wii. Uh, oh. Because the Wii... It's just a... GameCube, and I think I want to... Uh -huh. you, you didn't want to do it because of the hookups. But I think I did that yep. years ago. I'm not oh, you remember that. Yeah, he exactly didn't want to do it. Of course. He wanted mm -hmm. to play some other game. He wanted to play Crash, and everyone voted for and there is no Sunshine. It's like, <laughs> don't nominate <laughs> things that you know you're not going to do. Yeah. Like, don't nominate things that you... It's like saying, okay, well, we can go to McDonald's or we can go to KFC, but if we go to KFC, I am lactose intolerant, and it will give me diarrhea. So, what, what is the choice do you want to do? The We're going to KFC! <laughs> Everyone voted for, yeah. voted for Sunshine, and you're like, well, I can't do that. I have to buy a part. And we're like, all you have to do is just buy, at the time, an HDMI converter for the GameCube but, uh, yeah, to... Yeah, why did he put the option if he didn't want to do it? That's the part right. I can't work out. Like, it didn't make any sense. I mean, if I had my old Elgato HD60 with the, uh, I, you know what? I'll be honest. Those analog mm -hmm. converters look terrible. Mm -hmm. I hated them so much. They look terrible. Like, they yeah. had, like, these little blurry lines in them and shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it, it just never looked right. Yeah. 
Yeah, those analog to I I don't. But they were HD. They were definitely yeah. HD. But they they go higher quality now. I mean, the whole thing is HDMI, but there is ways to get your old consoles to, uh, you know. Yeah. He's an idiot. Yeah. Pretty much. But Super Mario Galaxy playthrough is over eight years old. It was before I did direct capture. Over eight years old. Right. CNN. That could definitely be a game that I would consider playing again. Is there anything I'm going to do mm -hmm. in the this short term? This is CNN. Poke, no. poke, poke. That's like a non-priority. Oh, yeah. But we want a, a fun project. Non-priority. In the future, when there's mm -hmm. some downtime. Yeah, replaying Super Mario future. Galaxy would definitely be a consideration. Although it kind of sucks. Okay. I drop 60 bucks, and I get the other two games. 60 I'm bucks? Not anytime soon, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll think about it. Okay, we'll, you know, Will you? Talk about it, I'm sure. Will we think about it? Uh, now, other announcements. Okay. Uh-huh. Sure. Super Mario All-Stars. Yay! If you who were around during the SNES era, you'll definitely know what this mm -hmm. is. This was one of the best what we know? SNES games of all time. This was uh -huh. a collection Coming out of the virtual that console. gathered Super Mario Bros. Uh -huh. Super Mario Bros. Mm -hmm. 2 The Lost Level, which was the Japanese version of Super Mario Bros. 2. Plus mm -hmm. the American version of Super Mario Bros. 2, which was actually built into the canon. But they skinned it to have mm -hmm. Mario characters in it, so that's in it. And Super Mario Brothers. They didn't 3, skin it. They all just with more, they uh, own they, they own Doki Doki yeah, Panic, the uh, Mario game. It was going to be a Mario game. All the, this was collection. Because the guy and played it, went like, "This Nintendo, is too hard, Miyamoto san What the fuck?" So if he skin it, is it Super Mario Choppers? They just released you know, Super Mario Ultimate. You know, they're Super Nintendo Choppers. You're one of their, their you know, online service subscribers. Get it? Super Nintendo Choppers. Now, here's the thing. I was actually just talking about doing a marathon of classic Super Mario. Mm -hmm. That was one of the options well, you know. that we were uh -huh. considering for the upcoming marathon yep. this month. Sadly, really? you guys didn't vote for oh. it. You guys voted Aww. for it. If you had voted for the classic okay. Super Mario Marathon, this would have been absolutely... Perfect timing. Well, it sucks to be us, doesn't, universe, doesn't it? Where you uh -huh. guys voted for classic Super Mario, this the stars would have yeah. lined, and this would have been a perfect stars would have lined. situation. Sadly, mm -hmm. you guys voted for Rageathon, and now we're sadly all you point. all voted for Rageathon. Imagine hey, talking Super like Nintendo that. Chalmers. Think about think about uh, his think about how you guys like. Well, you fuckers voted for Rageathon. Yep, all your fault. You're to blame. Yeah, you guys voted for. It's like, why does he make these polls if it, you know, if he didn't want you to vote for him, and then and then get pissy about the outcome, dude? Seriously, what's your dealio? It's really annoying, if you ask me. Extremely annoying. Yes. It's like, bro, mm -hmm. if you didn't want people to vote for these things, then why is it there? Exactly. I'm a rage song. <laughs> you hear the excitement in my voice. Woo hoo. No, I hear the condescending. Woo -hoo. All right. Uh -huh. So, anyway. Condescending uh, asshole. Yeah. Very yeah. is coming out, and it's mm -hmm. definitely something that I would like to do in the future. Why? I have never played Why? Super Mario One or either of the Super mm -hmm. Mario Two games for stream uh -huh. ever. Uh huh. And those are the Not one. Those are the games Not that twice. established but modern twice. platform. And the fact that I never played them is pretty crazy. So I would definitely like to play those for you guys. Um, to play them, them for you guys. He would like to play them. Now, That'd be a good time because probably all the, the new games will be winding down by then. And maybe I can do some classic. Winding games. down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So we'll see. We'll see what. We'll happens. see. All right. But we'll see. Do. Anything mm -hmm. for free. I'm, you know, cool anything news. for free. Those are games that I've of course. Looking to play, or else, duh, why would I have made it an option for the upcoming game? Duh. Want to play, right? Mm -hmm. That's really neat. Um. That's really really neat. 
And then there was a third announcement, and I forgot what it was. There was a third announcement about Mario. I completely forgot. You're an idiot? Is that the, is that the third announcement? A ton of shit with Mario for his 35th anniversary. Ton of shit. Um, the one thing that a lot of people were wondering, there was no Mario Galaxy 2 at all. What are they going to do oh. for his 45th? Damn, if they're doing Galaxy 1, for his 40th anniversary. And admittedly, um, they're going to get him adult diapers? Galaxy 2 because I've never played Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, what are they going to do for his 40th so anniversary? I would love the remastered edition of that, but they didn't announce yeah, it. Yeah, they're going to give him adult diapers. You know, the ones that were advertised on um, Saturday Night Live. Oops, right. I crapped my pants. The Super Mario 3D World is also being remade. You have never seen those adult diapers? And no. they're adding Okay, I said you they had. And that's coming out in February of next year. February 2021. Um, I'll probably check it out. I'm trying to remember with 3D World, was that the one that was only on the Nintendo DS? It's a lot of games. Or was that the one that was on the Wii U? No, Wii U was wasn't it New Super Mario Brothers U? Or did I I can't remember this at all. I know I played it. I know I played Super Mario 3D. Dementia's kicking in. It was Wii U? All right. I'm pretty sure. Didn't I do a co-op playthrough with John Rambo? When is there ever I the dimension not I kicking in? I with John Rambo. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but what's funny is I don't remember it. <laughs> is this oh, okay, a video so we can watch on stream? The Wii U had, had both 3D World and New Super Mario U. That's why I got them confused. Gotcha. Okay. So... Yeah, I played co-op with Rambo when I did my playthrough. So, I could play it again in February. I'd be interested in that. It's been like no Mario. I mean, the last Mario, major Mario game that was in the style of real Mario was Super Mario Odyssey, which was what, three years ago? Yeah, it was my game of the year 2017. Um, and since then, there really hasn't been, I mean, yeah, we got Paper Mario. That's not classic Mario. You know, it's, not, it's not in line with the classic platform you expect from Mario. So, I guess we'll... we'll I guess I'll check it out next year. That's good. So, <clears throat> the trifecta of Mario games 64, Sunshine, Galaxy coming out in HD remakes uh, for 60 bucks. Available in like two weeks on the Switch. Mm -hmm. Available immediately mm -hmm. right now. The Super Mario All Stars uh -huh. on the Switch. Ooh. Your online subscription yeah. is free. And coming next year in February, Super Mario 3D World with extra new, new content added. All right. <clears throat> that's cool. That's good news. I like Mario stuff. So that's the game. You like news. making, you like milking people. Okay. Let's do shout outs. Right? I'll use the bathroom and then we'll get right into life. I also like strange. We'll get right into tell me why. Um, I can't go well. Tell me why. Nothing but I playing games. Going. With tell me why. Like I said, I got a reminder. Tell him why he doesn't want to play games. The, the episode he wants to shoot. When I Ooh. Go around three, three and a half hours, like the last He said he wanted a cup? Oh, he wants to cook. Okay. Gotta leave by around three, 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 three. Okay. <clears throat> what the fuck is cooking? All right, so I got a bunch of tips overnight. I feel like if he just went to Kroger and bought, like, tombstone pizzas or something, that would be even easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it... He could have got... Yeah, McCain's. McCain's pizzas, throw it in the microwave, boom, he's done. Like, he makes it such an ordeal. I have to cook, guys. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. And I'm sorry you have to cook. I'm sorry that this this mild inconvenience in, in your life that is happening. You could go to McDonald's. Mm -hmm. You could. You could go to Taco Bell. But the thing is, see, if he goes to McDonald's, he has to put on pants and shoes. Apparently, they have a strict Zelda pajamas um, policy at McDonald's. You go through the drive through I don't think they give a fuck unless you're wearing underwear. I don't think they give a fuck. Yeah. But when you're DSP gaming, I don't know. True that. Ultra Dynamite, 2701. Tip the dollar fifteen. Said I'm putting this tip into two parts. I heard you talking about Dark Side Child about your name, and I wanted to fill you in a little bit with 
without spoiling too much, it's a great anime from 2016 or 2017 in the USA. Dark Side. Oh, has a we're talking about. Tomatoes rating. We're talking now, about the some. Uh, half of this. The movie takes place on two different perspectives: one with a male wolf who lives in a big city of Tokyo, and the other a female rabbit that lives in the countryside. The rabbit wants to move to Tokyo, so the rabbit and the wolf eventually switch bodies. Interesting. Then there was another tip that came in: three dollars from the Dark Side Child. He says, my older cousin, who's almost 10 years older than me, is struggling with talking to female students in high school. Oh, I thought you said he was 10 years old. He's 10 years older than you. Oh. We want to ask you, go, you have any advice on success with you girls. I have problems, too, so it'll be helpful. Yeah, you sure you <laughs> Did you ask him DSP for advice? No different than guys. There's what? no reason to, to have any kind of different treatment or any kind girls of... Girls have penises? Method. Just treat them... Wow, like I did not know that. And you're all good. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just fucking hormones that make you guys <laughs> be nervous talking to girls or girls talk. I think he's like, <laughs> really? It's, it's hormones. I love how he goes like, just talk to them normal. Like, is that how you did to cat? You didn't just horn up in their DMs and go like, mm -hmm. I need you to cook and clean for you because you're not there for sex, dog. Mm -hmm. He's not built for that. It's, it's all it is. It's fucking hormones. It's stupid. He didn't ask you about hormones. He asked you. How do I get a girl? Be normal. Yeah. Be yourself. Pretty and much. then, and, and, or you could do the DSP me method. Lock, m get some random bitch from Michigan, lock her down, and made her fat. Mm. Fat. Nothing like a good kidnapping. Exactly. Shit, Raven Sulfan does not support so or no. recommend kidnapping. And go talk to if any mentions of something, he disallows any of that knowledge. You from talking to people normally, so <laughs> maybe. Remember, this guy has no friends, and he talks to no one. Science is stopping you from talking to women. Science. Definitely, science, science. is doing this. Science is doing this. It's harder than okay. Ever, right? no. Anyway, mm -hmm. raise the rabbit bun. Tip me a dollar thirty overnight. Raise the rabbit Dave. bun. <laughs> I used to wrap a bun. The game. Just in time for Easter. Not Dave. My dad's name is Dave, though. So Dave is a good name. Dave. Oh, that's a detractor meme <laughs> right there. Dave Burnell. Junior. That's a... Oh, Junior. <laughs> that's a... That's a detractor meme right there. There you go. Yep. Junior. Detractor meme, Phil. Yep. You're a detractor. I'm not insulting. You are a detractor. We named the dog Indiana. <clears throat> okay. So, which one's your least and most favorite, and why? Do you have any plans on playing the Daxter spinoff, which takes place between the first and second game? And will you wish Cleo... What is with this uh, spinning sunrise thing that says sub-hype? Luck and P3. I don't know I have no idea. But, um... But? Mm -hmm. So, out of all the Jack and Daxter games I've played, so... I played all three. I played all three. The okay. Trilogy, right? Yep. Uh, which is my least and mm -hmm. most favorite, and why? The third one was easy. I remember the third one was not hard at all. The second uh -huh. one mm -hmm. has that yeah. stupid race shit you have to do in the city. The timed driving of the fucking motorbike and it blows up and shit. It's really fucking annoying. The first game's the hardest. By far. Oh, come on, Bill. Tell us how you truly feel. It's on hell back now. Um. <clears throat> so, I would say, oh. out of all uh -huh. of them. The second one yeah. was my favorite because of the annoying mm -hmm. driving shit. The third uh. game had driving that was much better, mm -hmm. much, you know, much better refined mm -hmm. and it wasn't such more, so much of a focus. The second game All was right. a fucking pain in the dick. It really was. Pain in the dick. There you uh, go. Oh. Is that one of the double pains that he well, suffers from? Spin off. I have no idea. I don't even know anything about it. So, Golden Colts at 100 bit cheer overnight. So thoughts on rice and beans? It's delicious. My no, you'd not right. be eating no rice and beans, man. No. I find that very hard to believe. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the yeah, bum rasta clad buddy boy. So for six months, thank you for the for the resell. <clears throat> okay, let's do some quick shout outs. Thank you to those who've cheered. I thought oh, those were the shout outs. Jesus Christ, Christ is more of them. for eighth place between Sadar, Major Riot, and Froggins. And you know what's nuts? Listening to this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the next two years, he's going to become insufferable. He's like kind of, yeah, no. he's kind of, he's kind of like a mere uh, uh, irritation. Now he's just insufferable. And he Except grew into this. That's the thing. Sixth place, Golden Colts. Fifth place, Kate. 
fourth place, Sweaty Man JPEG. Third place, Spartan King. Second place, Lies for Soul. And first place, Mr. Steffens 2. <laughs> and thank you to those who gifted subscriptions to the channel so far this week, including Spartan King, El Nice Gaio. Oh, Alex Lord. Khan, thank God he doesn't do this anymore. Uh, yes. Con Air, Betamax, and Lunava, who all gifted a single sub, and Beastbot, who gifted two. Viva la Argentina. So, this week. so a couple quick things. Number one. Mm -hmm. from my One. Team, Sub goal. Yes. Please consider subbing. Uh -huh. if you like the channel, you like the content, and you want. I don't to like it. Halloween, uh, event this year. Nope. Please consider subbing. Fun for Tevin. Number yes. two, we have a new one hundred dollar tips animation. Not that I'm never gonna watch it. Anyone to tip hundred dollars anytime soon? It's a rarity when we then do. Then why'd you make it? But if anyone happens to, there's an amazing animation that dollars anytime soon. I'm sorry. You couldn't just cut out the PNG or get a better PNG. Why would you take this? See that checkerboard? Mm -hmm. It still has the the PNG in it. <laughs> Welcome to Dark Side Phil stream. Twitch Dark Side Phil DSP Gaming, and it's and then the King of Retro Gaming, and then Sonic Mario Street Fighter, and then did you draw those controllers? They look terrible. Sorry. Um, you, but if you've got separate speakers boost what you could do is you could turn the monitor off today <clears throat> and number three or just put an overlay over the top of it all right to end around 3 30 ish you never so see ugly little face i'm about to end i i or always i always hit this one because it feels like he's sitting on the floor trying to i don't know what the fuck this is looking up mm -hmm. like it, it, it's jarring and right now I'm going to go use the restroom, and we're going to get started with Tell Me Why, you know, right away, so that we can actually get into it and hopefully, you know, finish it. No There's Pluto. Before yeah, but, event. but DSP, so, you've been saying this for the past 10 minutes now. Goal. We only have between now and roughly 3.30-ish to hit it, all right? I'm throwing that out there way ahead of mm -hmm. time, so no one's shocked that with five minutes left to go. <laughs> oh, my God, I thought the film was going to be <laughs> No. Okay. What the hell is this? Why is there? Why is he holding a Kirby? Why is whatever? <laughs> okay, it's time. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna go use the restroom. And then we come back. What the hell is why. this? I'll be right back. Thanks, guys. See you. In a Tell me why we hate your motherfucking guts. Tell me why you're a fucking. Is that bitch. supposed to be like Elder Scrolls and stuff like that? I have no idea. Yeah. Is that it? Is that, that is the it. end? Unless you gave me that video I have to play. I mean, no, it's a. I, I did oh. give it. I, I, I don't did think I. I don't think I can play this because it's SNL. But mm -hmm. this is what DSP reminds us. Hey mom, what do you say to a game of tennis? Come on, Grandma. If you want our side, the boys don't stand a chance. <laughs> okay, I'll get my racket. Uh, on second thought. I think I better sit this one out. You kids go ahead. Just in time for DSP's 42nd birthday. You're still having control. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> imagine DSP just sitting here like, oh, second thought. Oh, I'll, I'll speed it up here. Mm -hmm. I'll get to the part what, what he's here for. Yeah, well, Super here fluff. Now. My pants outperformed every bladder and battle control product on the market today. Here, let me show you. Now imagine this pitcher of iced tea is really a gallon of your pieces. Now see how a super thick fluff filter allows for maximum absorbency without... See? It absorbs a lot of crap. <laughs> we'll just fast forward to the absolute end. Yeah, okay. Because... Oops, I crap my pants. That's what DSP needs, you know. There, there, there you go. Oops. There I we can't. go. There's the payoff. <laughs> <laughs> Could you mention that in the Zelda pajamas? They would know. They're like, oh, right. my pants. They're going like, is he is he using it as a flotation device? What the hell? <laughs> oh no, it, it 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 is absorbing all the flotation. There'll be nothing left of the ocean. It'll be all in these. Oops, I crapped my pants. Yeah. Well, there you go. Oops, we're out of time. Mm-hmm. Thank you and good night. Yes, good night. Don't do anything stupid by.